Can you all hear me? Let me know if you can hear me. And if you can hear me, put it in the comments. Kara's just getting her finishing girly touches going on. Okay, awesome. I'm going to mute the, the uh, mic again for a few moments until we start up. So, Carol will be with y'all very shortly. Also, if you can do us all a favor and tell all your friends about the Buff Bunny live launch party Kara's having and send them on over here, that would be amazing. Thank you.
Hello, friends. Welcome to the No Filter Live launch party. If you've been here before, let me know in the comments. Also, if you're part of my Discord, sometimes y'all have different names and I don't recognize you in the chat, so let a ho know in the chat what your name is in case you have a different handle name. What is up, friends? Today is No Filter launch day. This is the collab with Katherine Mueller. Beautiful collection. Um, I just turned on the ring light, Jason. It wasn't on, so I probably will need you to adjust the lighting. Um, we have got two and a half hours before launch happens. Do not fear. We will get all your questions answered. I've got all the pieces with me. <laughs> We've got JJ rolling up in here. Um, I'm just gonna scroll up in the chat. What's up? Better, thank you. What's up, IG? How are y'all today? I do have Instagram going live as well. Today, friends, we are doing gift cards every 15 minutes. Um, this is something Jason and I do out of our own pocket, just as a way to have fun, give back to you a little bit, as much as we can for always supporting us during these launches. So every 15 minutes, we're gonna do a random selection. It is a US gift card. Also, Corey Crew, help out however you can. I do my best to answer as many questions as possible, but this time flies by, as you know. So feel free to help each other out in the comments. If you're able to stay the entire time and I've already answered something and you wanna help out and answer a friend, I love that. This is not my live launch party. This is your live launch party. This is y'all's, okay? We do this together. This is not just for me. So I want this to be a full community experience. So help out each other's friends. And of course, using code Kara today, I very much appreciate it does get you 10% off, enters you into my $1,000 giveaway, and it supports me to continue working with this team. So I very much appreciate all the support. All right, so now that the housekeeping is taken care of, hello friends, hello. Um, Kimmy, thank you for mentioning that. I also have a link, so feel free to use my link today. Audrey Martos, thank you for subscribing. Yes, if you're using uh, rewards points today, friends, or you have a higher discount, go ahead and use it. But use my link, buffbunny.com backslash Kara. That won't get you any extra discount off, but it's gonna earn me commission and it'll enter you into my giveaway. All the dogs are up in here today. Howdy, boys. Okay, so we have a relatively good size launch here today, friends. We have accessories. We have all new pieces, right? If you saw my review video, you know we had a lot of new pieces to go through. I have a lot that I love from this collection and we had a lot of questions this collection as well. Um, so I'm gonna scan right now for some questions. Uh, Tara said, y'all, I've never purchased flares before. I genu generally wear medium, but sometimes I go for large leggings. I'm thinking of sizing up to a large. Thoughts? So Tara, if you did, in fact, ever try the contour pocket leggings, um, those are in Newbury. Those to me fit just the same as the flares. Like I wouldn't worry about the fact that they flare. I would think about how Newbury leggings typically fit you. So whatever you normally wear in your Newbury items, whether it's a legacy, whether um, I'm like blanking on Rosa's legacy, Rosa micro legacy is brand new, but I would say go with your, your true to size, honestly. Um, your inseam length is something you have to think about with the flares and what shoes you will wear. So we do have three inseam lengths today, short, regular, and tall. So what I usually tell people is to measure your inseam on your favorite pair of pants from the crotch to the end of the pants and think about what shoes you're gonna wear with it, right? I usually go for a regular inseam. I could have totally done short on this one, but I always wear chunky shoes. All right. I love y'all multitasking. Some of you are working today. Some of you are studying, getting in that cardio. I love that I am here with you, helping you through it and also helping you shop. Okay, so wait, today we have on, real quick here, the Afterglow Yellow in the Twist Sports Bra. Some of you can wear this, some of you can't. It is a bit more for my itty bitty titty committee girls. Although they did adjust the straps a little bit, that didn't really change the coverage at all. So this one is more for my eye, 
IBTC in my, my medium titty committee, right? We gotta represent our medium titty committee. I am also wearing, I love how Bruce is looking at me like I'm talking to him. We're also wearing the Shape Seamless Leggings. Friends, I'm wearing these in a size small because that is all they had available, but I'm not mad at how the size small fits me. Um, I don't have any gaping in the waistband whatsoever. Um, they honestly fit perfect. I do think extra small would fit me well too. Overall, Catherine has said true to size in the seamless leggings. What's that? Yeah. Um, I think it just depends if you like your leggings a little bit looser, a little bit more room, a little less compressive. You can, I'm proof that you can size up and you'll be okay. So I don't necessarily think you need to stress the seamless. There's not a wrong decision here going with your true size or if you wanna play it safe because sometimes you like to size up, you could definitely size up in these. Yes, this is the combo of Enchanted Teal and Afterglow Yellow. Just a beautiful combination, quite honestly. And that is what I love most about what Catherine and Buff Bunny Collection created. This collection, there's a literally not a wrong combo. You can even pair these colors with Cold Brew, being that like cooler tone brown. It's still, I have a dog between my legs. Holy catfish, Batman. Did you all just see that? Bruce, okay. That was different. That was very different for us, okay. Um, but I am wearing extra small in both pieces. Uh, Brie Powers, I'm usually an extra small in Legacy and Rosa. I'm 21 weeks pregnant, cannot wear the tight Legacy, but can still wear Rosas. I'm wondering if I can do extra small in the micro Legacies or should I get a small? Um, Brie, those do fit more like a Rosa, quite honestly. So you would definitely be good still with an extra small that way. They can kind of carry you through your pregnancy a bit, but then post-pregnancy, they'll still fit you just as good. I don't think you need to go to a small. Tara, I wonder why the micro legacy sizing is so off from the original. I think it's just a matter of them, um, a couple of things, I think the less seams, obviously things fit a little looser. I feel like I've heard people say that with Rosa for a while. Some girls size different in Rosa than they do Legacy, so less seams, not as tight. In addition, I think I've personally just seen, this isn't from the team, this isn't official, but I've just seen differences in how Newbury fits and feels launch to launch. This Newbury is just next level soft, light and stretchy. And I have had past versions of Nubri that it's just not that light and soft and stretchy. Now, I only got lighter colors. Would black be the same? I don't know, I didn't receive black. But sometimes the color makes a difference. Manufacturers change things, I'm not really sure. I just know they do feel a lot softer and lighter. Um, but some women did still find them true to size. I think with Micro Legacy and Micro Legacy shorts, it's gonna depend where you carry your weight. So if you carry more weight in your stomach and in your hips, you're a bit curvier, they, your true to size may fit you just fine. I said this in my review, the extra small fits me. It's not like I can't wear them that they don't fit me, but I do a lot of this. I'm pulling things up quite a bit. So for that reason, if I was to purchase another pair or they came out again, I would probably size down for myself personally. Um, I, it's not that I don't have curves, but I'm not the curviest lady, right? I'm petite, I'm pretty proportionate for a s shorter statured gal, so I don't really have the curves to support the leggings to hold them up. So keep all of that in mind if you are choosing to get Micro Legacy today, whether it be in the shorts or the leggings. Couple at Lexi, Elaine is sizing down for Micro Legacy. Tara was gonna get seamless, but the booty's way too sheer. Yep, that's one thing with the, I would say seamless in general across the board for Buff Bunny Collection. They haven't really nailed down the ability for it to not have sheerness. For me personally, I just love seamless so much. I'm. Like I'm good with it that I will still purchase with my own money and buy them um, knowing that they are a little bit sheer, but totally respect if that's just not gonna be worth it for you to spend the money and have them sheer out. One more time. Okay, friends, we have our first bunny 
money giveaway winner, Aaliyah Rodriguez. That's what I said, Aaliyah Rodriguez. You are our first Buff Bunny Collection Bunny Money gift card winner. All you have to do is send an email to Fitlife at gmail.com. Jason's handling the email and the gift cards for me as per usual. He will send that right over to you. So just send an email. Probably don't put giveaway or gift card in the subject line. Sometimes it goes to spam, but send us over that email ASAP and we will send you on over your $50 gift card. Congratulations. Um, let's see. Oh, thank you on the hair. I just whipped this up quickly and I'm not really loving it. So I much appreciate the compliments. VW, this is my launch party. Um, can you show the sports bra with more cherries coverage at some point? Amy, not known. I don't know what that means. Can you show the sports bras with more coverage at some point? Not sure what that means. Marissa's getting her ninth candy wrap today. Yes, candy wrap has literally been nonstop since Sugar Rush. I'm, I'm not the, it's not that I don't like the candy wrap. I just find that I don't grab to wear it quite a bit. Um, for me, out of this launch, my top sports bra picks, I honestly, I love the twist sports bra. The twisted curve really excited me this launch. I didn't think I was gonna love her and I do. I love the full coverage on the backside, made it very high support. And I fit into those molded cup pads and it was very, uh, very much a titty moment, which I appreciated. My other favorite in this launch is the halter seamless bra. It looks so teeny tiny on the, on the hanger, doesn't it? I do have some self tanner on it because I didn't get to wash it again. Um, it does come out though, thankfully, because I'm a messy girl with these pastels, but the halter seamless is one that I would like is on my list to grab more colors in. Um, if I can get my hands on it, I just love the way it fit. It felt, I love halters. I did feel like it was just more comfortable than halters we've seen. If you compare it to like Sultry from Seven Deadly Sins or the Rev halter, just that seamless makes it so much more comfortable on the neck. Those are my top picks for sports bras. Um, can I compare the ribbed flares with the contour flares, Renata asked. Um, in a nutshell, to not actually like sit here and put them side by side, the ribbed flares, I feel like um, basically the contour flares give us the most flare. They are the least tight on the calf, which I think was influenced from Catherine, which I appreciate because I, like her, have very big calves for the size of my legs. Being an extra small girl, I have very big calves. So I like that they really loosened up the calves a bit so they're not as tight. So for me, the contour flares are actually my favorite flare they've ever done for that reason. Material Girl ribbed flares are a tighter, more compressive fit. Um, they did adjust that for that last restock we just had. However, they're still more compressive than the contour flare. So just like overall, the contour pocket flare fit is more consistent with your normal size for leggings. And I just feel like they have finally nailed the ratio of flare to tightness to the calf, in my opinion. So I absolutely love them. Uh, Terry asked, what's my favorite sports bra from this launch? Do I like the buttercup? So I did just mention my favorite sports bras are the twisted curve, the twist and the halter. I do like the buttercup. It's a great, really easy bra to throw on. It doesn't really give me much lift. It doesn't give me a titty moment. So I always like the ones that give me a little clavage. Um, but overall, very soft, comfortable. I can wear it all day. Definitely more of a lighter support for me. So it's not one that I would wear for running or anything where I'm bouncing and jumping up and down, but still a great bra. The butter fabric is just lighter support in general. My top picks are easily twist, twisted curve, and halter seamless. Favorite color from this launch? That's a tough one for me, honestly. I am between Bubbles Blue and Lavender Haze. Lavender, I feel like I get a lot of compliments on when I wear it, so that's what made me say lavender, but like a baby blue has always been my favorite color. I just think lavender is more flattering on my skin tone and my dark hair, but these are my two favorites. Lover Pink is clearly a, a top loved color from this launch, which I enjoy it. I just don't know if pink is my favorite color. 
Um, you also have to consider a little bit of sheerness with that lover pink. So for that reason, lavender, haze, and bubbles blue are my faves. Ashley Stillwell, hi Kara, what's the twist bra? Sizing similar to which bra? Um, I feel like this bra is true to size. I would say if anything, like the shoulder straps, even though they adjusted it, I still kind of want to do this with them. Also the backside, if you haven't tried this before, please don't mind the fact that I didn't ask Jason to help me self tan my back today. Um, Okay, anyway, sorry. Yeah, I know. I didn't I didn't ask him to tell to tan my back because you know what happens when you ask a man to help tan your backside? Do you know what happens? We didn't have time for that today. Um, okay, so the backside, it's scooped, it's very open, so I feel like for me, I could easily size down on this bra, but I will say it's true to size. However, if you are big titty committee this may not work for you um also ashley it depends like coverage wise you only get so much coverage in this but overall i do feel like it's true to size um let's see the ashley 92 opinion change on anything um one thing i do need to point out let's see if i can show you it's not necessarily an opinion change on this one but something i want to draw your attention to on the seamless leggings. Oh man, I am I am not warmed up for this today. Okay, on the seamless leggings. Ooh, your girl needs a joint supplement and I need to stretch. I'm gonna show you back here so I don't injure myself. On the seamless leggings, there is this like line of, kind of similar to this contour line right here, you can easily see. There's a line down the side of the leggings and it turns out it's, very very fragile and so when I was putting these leggings on the other day for my photo shoot I did with Jason I was very gentle my nails are not that long they're not super pointy and I ripped a hole in them just pulling them on so it's not an opinion change I still love them let me see if I can show you without killing myself here ah I'm not stretchy enough see it guys I know it's kind of down low but I got a hole in them. So there's like these little tiny, the seam here is very similar to the contour seam on the hip. And yeah, I got my finger in there. I can kind of cover it up so I keep forgetting about it. But that's something I needed to update you all on. They are a little fragile. I never had that issue with BBL or any of my other leggings. I don't think I've ever stuck my fingernail through them before. So that's something I wanted to update you on. Any other opinions changed? Um, the only other sizing opinion I wanted to update you on is the Twisted Curve Sports Bra. The more I wore it, I realized in my review, I said true to size, which I agree with, but I failed to tell you that with that backside being so full coverage, I could see some of you wanting to size up for a little bit more room, a little more comfort. It is tight. It will be tight on you. You will be locked in. Um, so if you are larger chested or have a larger back or just want more comfort, you may want to size up in that. Um, any other thoughts? I don't think my opinions changed too much. I was really hoping that I would have the smaller version of the Karma Crop by now and the larger version of the Candid Cross Waist Leggings. I do not, so I don't have any updates for you on those pieces yet. However, when I receive them, I will give you updates. That way, if they're in stock and you were kind of on the fence about sizing, I can update you on that. Cool. I'm just gonna pop up the giveaway that Jason works on all these assets. So just a reminder today, my code or my link will support me during this launch. Um, all right, Brianna, more seams equals more compression. Absolutely. Uh, Christina Lehman, are, seam, are the seamless mid-rise? I think that's a great question. That's a question that is specific to the person, okay? So for me, what I've noticed lately, well, lately as in 2024, anything Buff Bunny is launching that are listed as high rise, they're fitting me right here, right under my belly button, which for me is mid-rise. That is technically mid-rise. High-rise would be right at the belly button. Ultra high-rise is gonna be like here. 
This is gonna definitely depend on the person, how long your legs are, how long your torso is. Um, it, that All that stuff makes a difference in how the rise actually hits you. So what I've learned is that even though I am five foot two, I am a shorter girl, I have a longer torso. Like I've got a pretty, <laughs> long torso compared to my legs. So on some of these leggings, because I have a longer torso, they hit me a bit lower. Um, that also creates some of the camel toe issue that I also have. If a rise is lowered, it's just pulling too much. So anyways, for me personally, they are, um, they are mid rise, Christina, on me, but it is gonna depend on your torso. PDF says high rise. Jennifer B, so in general, Micro Legacy fits more like Rosa. Jennifer, yes, that's how they fit for me. Again, if you are someone with more hips, with more stomach, with more surface area or holding your fat throughout your midsection, they may still fit you true to size. But overall, I do still feel like, see Rosa, I wear extra small. I don't size down in Rosa. Although there have, okay, remember 70s collection, Tuxedo Blue? Those Newbury leggings, I remember, were so big on me, I thought I needed to size down. So here's the thing, it's like, it depends on the, the Newbury fabric. Maybe it's the pastel colors that just have like more stretch to them. I don't know, it's a, uh, so do they fit more like Rosa? Yes and no, they just fit a bit more stretchy. I'm not sure if that's helpful. I don't want to be confusing because I do wear extra small in Rosa, but Micro Legacy, I would need to size down in Rosa. I generally don't. Compression wise, they will feel more like a Rosa. I have no idea. Okay, just a reminder, I don't know why we're getting a bunch of emails from people saying they won the giveaway. <laughs> Oh, they want to win. Oh, I see. Yeah, please don't do that just because it's gonna spam us and Jason's managing multiple things right now. All you have to do is be in the YouTube chat, in the comments box, say something in there. You don't have to spam. It's just being here, being subscribed to my YouTube channel. That's it. Anything else above and beyond that is not gonna change your chances. So please don't spam. It just makes, makes it difficult to manage, that's all. Okay. Uh, Marissa, I'm so torn on the lover pink bottoms. I mean, if you're torn on them because of the sheerness, I didn't think it was too, too bad. Like when I wore them with a nude thong on the Micro Legacy shorts, it wasn't, it wasn't bad at all. Or if you're thinking about the Micro Legacy leggings, honestly, if you're good with wearing nude, for me, I'm comfortable with that. The only leggings I was so uncomfortable with was Berry Ice Seamless. Remember those from the last collection? I was like really on display and really self-conscious, but it definitely always depends on your confidence level with those lighter colors. Uh, L Grace, what are your favorite leggings from this collection? I'm glad you asked. Honestly, even though I did call out the little hole I got, it's the seamless for me. I am a girl who likes a legging that allows some sweat wicking component to it. And these are the only ones that really do that for me this launch. So from a performance standpoint, these are the ones I've been loving. I generally usually would love a Rosa or a Jacquard. Like I actually do love Jacquard. Um, so you might be surprised that these aren't one of my top picks. I just didn't love the Jacquard this time. Um, and then in addition, the contour pocket flares, don't wear these to work out. I just like them for lifestyle, but I love these. I will be wearing these all the time. So those are my top two picks for leggings. Um, Alana Jackson, do I have a link for the BB Canada site? I don't, but my understanding is you can still use my link and hopefully it associates the sale. It's kind of one of those, I'm not totally positive. I. I hope it associates the sale, but I'm not sure. Okay, our next Bunny Money gift card winner is Valerie Kern. Kerner, Valerie Kerner. 
You are our next Bunny Money gift card winner, so please send an email over to karacorifitlife at gmail.com. Jason will send you on over that gift card. You can use that today. Friends, these gift cards are for the US site only. I don't have access to Canada's website to purchase, so just an FYI there. But thank you so much for being here and congratulations, Valerie. Peyton says, all of a sudden I'm getting micro legacies. <laughs> Um, Alicia Whitehill, should I size down on the micro shorts? Um, okay, so here's the thing where on the micro shorts for me with shorts, I'd rather them be a little roomier versus a little tight. So while I'd prefer sizing down on the leggings, the shorts for me, I didn't mind being a little looser because they felt really nice on my thighs. But girl, I definitely had like the extra fabric in here like there's a lot of extra fabric and then they kind of turn into like a high rise situation. So I don't think there's a wrong answer, okay? Um, you could definitely size down if you want them to be a bit more fitted, have less of what they call Barbie crotch. I don't know why that's never bothered me, it just hasn't, but um, I think a lot of girls do want to size down on those. I just kind of don't mind when shorts fit me with a little extra room in them. Okay. Yeah, I get you, Marissa. It will be sheer with how thin they are, especially depending on if you're, you know, the legacy isn't as sheer. The Nubri is not as sheer as butter. There's like a huge difference between butter and Nubri when it comes to level of sheerness and cellulite that sees through, as well as camel toe, quite honestly. So you do have to keep consideration of the fabrics as well. Uh, over on IG, do you notice sweat being obvious in the pink and the lavender? Um, yeah, I mean, the, the pink and the lavender I have in both Newbury and Butter fabrics, and those aren't sweat wicking fabrics for me. So for that reason, I don't tend to wear them for sweat inducing workouts. I don't always get sweaty when I lift. It's just still semi cold in New York, but if it was a hot summer day or if I was down in Houston, for instance, those would probably be colors I would avoid due to being a little self-conscious of sweat showing through. So those are definitely, that's the problem with pastels. They're so freaking beautiful, but if you are at all insecure with things showing through, it's, it's gonna be a, a little bit of a deal. Brianna's wearing her Wicked Pocket leggings today, one of my faves. I hope they bring them back in more colors. Oh. I love that. I just don't think they were enough of a hit, you know, across the board, but I, I love to hear that. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Oh, thank you, Lexi. Slaying the seamless. We love them. I'm definitely wanting to grab the other two colors today. If, if y'all don't grab them first and sell them out, I'm going to try my hardest. I wish Enchanted Teal came in shorts, Lantan 1999. I fully agree. This color palette basically has its own playlist and I love that. Yeah, really cute that this kind of combined with Taylor Swift. I mentioned I'm not a Swifty. I'm not a hater though. I'm not anti, I don't come for her. I just, you know, I'm still in my emo 2001 to 2006 era of listening to music and apparently I'm never leaving that era. So that's just where I'm at in my life. <laughs> All right, uh, El Grace, are the leggings you have on high rise? Um, so they are listed in the PDF as high rise. I could try to pull them up more high rise. The reason why I'm not doing that is they're uncomfy. I feel like I will get a little camel toe. Like maybe I just have a really long, I have a long torso to my crotch. So for me, they just, they feel more comfortable right underneath my belly button. So that's technically a mid rise but depending on your body type, they could fit you like a high rise. That is how they are listed. Oh, oh shoot, this chat box. Sometimes it just, I'm like trying to stay in order so I don't miss anyone, but it just flew down on me. Um, oh wow, okay. Let me try to go a little quicker here. Yeah, I'm like way behind in the questions, aren't I? Um. What's my favorite BB piece for high intensity cardio? Mara Jane asks, honestly, the seamless set. So the seamless halter and the seamless leggings, they're the best because they're the only set for me personally I found to be sweat wicking during this launch. 
Um, did I get the tea Shelby Pickett? Yes, I did. I shared it in my review. Um, I love the pump covers that Buff Bunny Collection does. This one's white and you can see. Um, it says Authentic 2024. It's beautiful because it's got all the colors in it from this launch, all the pastels. These are like unisex sizing, so size small. Fits me a little bit oversized, but oh, I know I'm like dancing between the dogs. Just literally he's curled sleep. up in a little ball, isn't he? He's got his head under the thing. Did you see it? He got off the couch and went underneath my legs. No. He pulled a Norman. That's what Norman always does to me. Appreciate. Yeah, I rode him like a pony. Um, so yes, this pump cover tee to me, it's totally worth it. It literally looks good with all the colors in this launch. I, I also like um, a full length top lately. I've been liking that vibe of wearing something a little oversized on top. Uh, Amanda Godwin, Jacquard too much like the terrazzo. I already have. I agree with that and I like terrazzo more because it really matches with a lot of different colors. Uh, Carmen Mudo, size up in the new twist bra or true to size? I'm torn. Carmen, for me, the do you mean the new twist is in this twist or the twisted curve? I think you're going to be okay either way. So don't panic too much. The twisted curve was true to size for me on my smaller chest size, but it is very compressive. I know larger chested friends, Gabby and Teresa, they both kind of like sizing up because while it's BTC in mind, it's still, it's BTC in terms of coverage and like support, but it's still very cleavagey. So I feel like I can't always tell you exactly what size to get, but what I try to do is direct you into things that you may like or not like, and then hopefully that helps you size, right? So think about if you're cool with it being a little bit tighter and squeezy. And when I say tighter, it doesn't hurt me. I'm not in pain. It's still a bra I can wear all day. I wore it for running and loved it in my true to size. And even though it's chesty for me, I stayed in there. I felt really good in my extra small. Uh, Vanessa, ooh, how's the jacquard pieces? Vanessa Lou. Okay, so I mentioned this in my review. Unfortunately, I do love the Catalina bra. I think it's such a beautiful style silhouette, obsessed with the open back. They perfected the clasp. The only problem is the jacquard to me is just not super comfortable. Many of you know I love a Rosa legging. I wore the crap out of these leggings. They're probably kind of smelly right now because I didn't wash them again, but um, I just didn't love the way this jacquard felt, y'all. And I don't know that I heard anyone raving about the jacquard, and I'm not saying that to be negative or crap on the brand. I just am someone that truly loves jacquard and just didn't love the way that that jacquard felt for me. So for that reason, that was just a pass for me. That's why I haven't spoken about them as much. Uh, Terry Evenson, what's on your must list for today? Um, Definitely both other colors of the Shape Seamless leggings. I want to get one in extra small so I know how the extra small fit me. I also want to get a couple more of the halter. Um, I love the seamless halter and it's got some great colors available. Uh, the bend and snap dress, I'm toying with grabbing her in the color bone. And we haven't talked about this yet, but I am beyond obsessed with the long sleeve butter crop. I know some of you maybe will pass on this because she is still, she's a crop, right? It, it shows a lot of your stomach still, but I absolutely love this long sleeve. And I think I see a question from Carla Ramirez. Kara, does the long sleeve crop right up throughout the day? Carla, I didn't have that experience. They've got a really nice built-in shelf bra here and both that shelf bra really helped everything stay in place for me. Um, I really found this to be true to size for me personally. Um, for my chest size, it actually gave me a little bit of a lift. I love the butter crop tops. I love the new addition of the built-in sports bra. I love that we have the thumb holes. It was a piece for me that, that stayed in place. It was a top pick for me, so I also would like to grab the white one today. The white one, however, has tan boob pads in it. I, the, the, the white is always tough to not see the boob pads through, so just buyer beware if it's a deal breaker for you. You're likely gonna need to replace those boob pads with something you're a bit more comfortable in. Um, if you size up twice, do you think it'll be too loose? I want it to be a little bit longer. 
I do think you could size up in that two times. I don't know that it would necessarily be too loose on you. It is such a fitted top. The butter fabric is very stretchy and forgiving. I think as a smaller chested girl, I could do that with no issues. Um, but you just won't have as much support in it. So if you do that to get the little bit of extra length you'll get, you may have to, I don't know, wear something under it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. That's a good question. I don't totally know the answer to. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. If I don't know the answer to something, um, I only get to try the sizes and pieces I receive, but I'm trying to help the best I can, even, even if I'm unsure. Uh, Kimmy, uh, Kimmy Gelsinger, have you gone more mixing color combos or matchy matchy this launch? You know what, Kimmy, that's a great question for me because I am usually just a matchy matchy girl. This collection, I have loved the mix and match, obsessed. Like, I don't even think I need an enchanted teal sports bra because I'm dying for the afterglow yellow with this. In addition, the bubbles blue with the enchanted teal. I've really enjoyed doing the lover pink with the afterglow yellow, the lavender hay. Honestly, I've been really enjoying mixing and matching beyond the matchy matchy. And that's not my typical. So I'm glad you asked that question, Kimmy. Okay. Kara does, oh wait, I answered that. Mm -mm. Favorite two items from this launch, Claire Bear. I think I've answered it. Oh, just two though? I have like six. I have like a top six. Is that okay? Because we haven't talked about it yet, but I know someone did ask in there. The mini tote, that, that has to be said that this is a top pick today. Like do not sleep on your accessories because we know Oh look, I had a crot on it and it just wiped off with the little Lixies. This is so easy to clean. I am such a dirty hoe and this is still so clean. Between my self tan, literally on this entire collection, the fact that I have nothing on this bag, I am pretty freaking impressed. I'd say with myself, but it's more due to the luxe fabric of this vegan leather. I have all kinds of stuff inside this purse and I can fit a ton more if I want to. You know, um, I'm just like looking at what's in my purse. So the mini tote is a top pick from me. The shape seamless leggings, top pick from me just cause I really enjoy seamless halter, seamless sports bra is a top pick, bend and snap dress, butter crop long sleeve, contour pocket flares and twisted curve. Those are just all my top favorites. Those are the ones that have worked for me that I continue to wear, that I continue to grab. Not to mention if you have not tried the full size Lux tote, well, the game changer tote, I call it Lux. The fabric has been updated, but I've used this a few times, just um, going to study or work outside the home it stays really sturdy. It doesn't get floppy like the old versions did. They really upgraded the leather on this. And I do want to mention, this is also fantastic for traveling with. Girl, it can count as your purse, not even your carry-on. And she does slide right underneath an airplane seat so that no one can hate on you for that. What do y'all want to see Kara trying next? Yes, I will do outfit changes, so please let me know. I have the full mamma jamma here. I also, real quick, I'm sure I have a question in the chat, but the Karma Crop, I do have a smaller size on its way. UPS effing hates me this launch, and they're making my orders sit there for like a full week before they ship them. What's that? Next winner. Our next Bunny Money giveaway winner is Miss Sailor Thorne. Congratulations, Sailor Thorne. You're our next Bunny Money giveaway winner, so send me on over that email, caracorifitlife at gmail.com. Congratulations, Sailor. Give her some love in the chat. You got $50, girl, coming your way to shop today. Okay. Um, but yeah, I've got two pieces on its way to me that are not here that I wish I could have tried for you because I feel like sizing differently would have really helped. Um, Jolene Cherry Holmes, why wouldn't you work out in the flares? Honestly, Jolene, it's, I, I say this and I filmed grounds content yesterday and I wore my foxy flares, but I save them as my fancy pants. So it's just more of a Karakori thing. 
I truly, if I had two of the same pant, I'd, I'd keep one for working out and one for lifestyle, but because I love them so much for lifestyle, I don't like to intermix them, but um, I don't know. I've just never really worked out in flares. I, I just save them as my fancy pants, but you totally can. They are meant to work out with. Yes, please. Also, just a reminder today, friends, would love it if you love what I've done to help you with shopping this launch, giving you all the tea, the full detailed review. Um, then please use code Kara today. That supports me. And Jason and I do as much as we can to continue to upgrade the giveaways. I did an extra couple giveaways this time within the gifts, within the Discord with sharing my YouTube video. Um, I did one with the Libras Live. So I'm doing as much as I can to give back. So I do appreciate it. If you appreciate what I do and want to use code Kara today, I greatly appreciate it. Um, in addition, I do like to mention too that Jason and I do these giveaways here, this $500 giveaway, my $1,000 giveaway, that is not from Buff Bunny Collection. Jason and I use our own money to do these giveaways. So I like to mention that just because I know some people maybe think that I'm just gifted all those gift cards and I am not. That comes out of our bank account. Ah, thank you for subscribing, KP. Uh, Vanessa, we need flares and more colors. Absolutely agree. Shelby Pickett, what's your link? It's buffbunny.com backslash Kara. Oh, it won't work on the Canadian site. I thought there was a workaround. I thought Christy had mentioned the workaround and I'm not sure what the workaround is. That sucks. Um... Do the caps and the micro legacy fit smaller? AC asks. I didn't find uh, any difference in how the caps fit in the micro legacies. Uh, KCH, did you get any gaping in the twisted curve because of the molded cups? Shockingly, I did not. I honestly thought I was going to hate that bra. I don't request items to hate them. I request them to give a fair review for all shapes and sizes, and I did not expect to enjoy that bra. I have a 34 around the, the chest. I am an A cup. I'm itty bitty, but the molded cups, the way they shape that, they, it worked for me perfect. No gaping whatsoever. I was extremely impressed. Um, and Andrea Almaguer wants me to talk about the molded cups. When I looked at this, I'm like, girl, there's no way my little A cup could ever. And she sure did. If y'all didn't see, I posted, head on over to Instagram. I put a feed post up right before we went live here that shows you kind of up close how this looks on me. The molded cup is really nice and comfortable. Um, these are not removable, so there's nothing you can do about it if you hate a molded cup, but keep an open mind because I thought I hated molded cups and I absolutely love this bra. It's really comfortable. And although that cup size looks literally the size of my face, I think because of the backside being full coverage like that, it kind of just pushed everything in together. I don't, I don't know. It's perfect. I didn't hear anyone not like this sports bra. I promise you this one is just, it shocked me. It really shocked me that this one fit my boob the way it did and, and made it look really nice. So I, I loved it. Obsessed. Um, what did people want me to change into next? Do we want a bend and snap dress? Do we want like a lover pink situation? Let a hoe know in the comments. Okay. Can we do a lavender and a frost combo? Must have set for me is the seamless set. I gotta be honest, the seamless set is my favorite. Can just using the link be used for an entry for your giveaway? Jessica Farrell, yes it can. All I need you to do is ensure that you include your confirmation order number because I do have to go in and double check that it was associated with me. Um, so just send that over and include your confirmation number for what your order was. 
Uh, Brie Powers would have loved some contour shorts and bright colors, hoping they do that in the future. So we are transitioning into spring and they mentioned like they are doing, I lost all my dogs in here. They mentioned they are doing all their seasonal colors. So I think this is just the beginning, the tip of the iceberg with our pops of color. And I think that we're gonna get a lot more colors moving forward in the next couple launches heading into summertime, so. Ooh, it is windy out. <clears throat> Sorry if you could just hear me burp. How is the bend and snap dress, Kim P asks. I can definitely try that on for you. I'm obsessed with it. I honestly, like there's always a little something with the dresses or the one pieces that I, okay. I gotta pee anyway, so let's take a quick pause and I'm gonna throw on the bend and snap dress that way you all can see it. Let me take my mic pack off so you don't have to listen to me tinkle. Is that how we say it still? We'll be right back, friends. straps are twisted. One thing I like about this dress compared to the uh, corset bodysuit is it's not as like hard to get into, although my straps are twisted. to do this mic in this dress. I think I'm just gonna have to hold it actually. Um, Cause I got shorts on. So we're just gonna hold it on this dress. Um, okay, let's, what's that? Ooh, the chat is moving. This dress, this dress makes me wanna take up tennis. A go up my shorts or something? It's all attached. Okay. Works. I'll hide the back end. Okay. All right. I just scrolled all the way down to the bottom of the comments, so hopefully, I I maybe miss some of your questions, but I don't want to get too far behind. Um, yeah, the dress in a bunch of colors would have been gorgeous, but you have to remember, budget is an actual thing. Buff Bunny has to consider, and so with brand new pieces that are sometimes you know, not necessarily the star of the show, like a legging or a sports bra, they're only going to do so many so many colors. Um, I absolutely love this dress. This is the, my favorite dress they've done thus far. I just think it's so flattering. It's so cute. I feel cute in it. I love the way that it fits. I have the straps adjusted in the back a little bit tighter for me personally. I don't get any gaping, but one thing I will say 
sorry, as I look down into the mic, it doesn't do anything for my boobs. There is not a built-in bra, but you have this seam that kind of goes across right here uh, to give a little support. I don't have gaping, but it does kind of flip up just slightly, so just keep that in mind. Um, the best way to figure out if you should go to short or regular, that's a great question, Emily. I was kind of toying with the same. So basically the measurement goes from this waist seam down to the bottom. So I am wearing the regular length, which you can see where it hits me. The shorts underneath are a four inch inseam. The dress, if, let's just do this. The dress, if you go with the shorter length, is two inches, two and a half inches shorter. So I'm gonna kind of measure this two and a half inches. This is obviously a rough estimate, but I just moved this dress up two and a half inches. So this is kind of where it would sit on me, I think, if I went with the short version. Let's see if I can kind of manage this from the backside too. I think it would be kind of right right here. It would definitely show, it would probably sit pretty close to where the shorts are, quite honestly. It would look cute. I have short legs, so anything that kind of hits me shorter on the legs makes my legs look longer, but it will definitely be a lot more flirty and show a lot more of your leg. So how you should size for it, it just depends on what your preference is. If you wanna be kind of comfortable and ensure that nothing is a little too showy, I think the regular length is gonna work for most people. We have athletes on the team who are six feet tall and for their sizing, they said this was tall girl approved. So even though I'm sitting here as a short girl wearing the regular length, I still think it'll work for my tall friends as well. Um, just remember we do have the adjustable straps on the back side that fit and flare, so it really does kind of like come into your body, kind of snatches the waist, but not in an aggressively tight way. A lot of other Buff Bunny dresses have made me uncomfortable with my lower stomach in terms of it just being too tight, and I am a woman that has lower stomach that sticks out. That's just, it is what it is. A lot of women can relate. So that is something that could make you easily uncomfortable. This is the Perform fabric. So it's flowy and it just like, yes, it shows off the waist, but it doesn't snatch it too tight. It's just the perfect fit, you guys. I really, really love it. Um, it also comes in the color Bone, which I think is just a beautiful color. I love the neutrally creamy tones. Oh, everyone wants the dress to like not be connected. Yeah, to go to the bathroom. The thing I'll say though about going to the bathroom, this dress is like, these are elasticized straps. They're super easy to whoop and pull down. Um, so I don't know, it's never been a deal breaker for me. I will say like, if I'm gonna go to, I don't know if I'm gonna be out and about all day long and have to pee a bunch, I maybe would avoid this outfit, I don't know. It's so cute, right? I love this dress. And the dress looks great with a denim jacket too. So I did, I put some pictures on Instagram last night so you all could see it. I wanted to do more photos versus reels for this launch because sometimes I feel like you can just see things better with reels. You gotta keep up with the trends and keep things short. And I don't know, I just visually wanted you to really see these pieces. So my Instagram will show you how these things really look. It's just gorgeous. It looks so cute when you do pair it with the Desire Denim Jacket. Those are fully stocked on the website. I do believe in every color, so gotta plug that as well. That's my baby and honestly pairs beautifully with everything in the No Filter collection. Is it tight on the stomach and the waist, Vanessa 3? I kinda hinted at that, but no, it's like, it does rest right here on my upper abs. It's fitted. Upper abs, it's fitted. When it gets to the lower belly, belly button and below, it's looser. That's where it kind of flares out. So I think anyone with a mom patch, mom patch, a mom pooch, or just a lady with a uterus, hi, I am one. It's way more comfortable and it looks stunning. So, um, who is it?
Kimberly Freytag. Freytag. Kimberly Freytag, you are our next Bunny Money winner. $50 coming your way. Congratulations. Thank you so much for being here. Send us on over an email at court. Oh my God, Kara Corey Fit Life at gmail.com. And Jason will get that gift card over to you today so you can use it on today's launch. You can stack it with my code for an extra 10% off. By the way, Serena, thank you for subscribing to the channel. $1,000 giveaway happening, friends, for the month of April. I got all my March gift cards out. I got my Discord gift cards out. I got my IG. I'm just giving all the gift cards out. Find someone that does more gift cards than me. You won't. Jason and I try to do the most to give back to all. This is our own money. It's a way for us to thank you all for truly changing our lives. I wouldn't have had my own collection if it wasn't for you all, and I wouldn't still be here being able to do this with you all if it, if it wasn't for the support. So I cannot thank you enough. I will never lose sight of that, and I will... I and Jason will always try to do the most to give back to you all. So always open to feedback for ways that we can do that as well. Plenty of ways to contact me to give me feedback because I do, I do love to hear it. And we're always trying to compete with ourselves, no one else. We're trying to always level up and, and make things better. So, um, But congratulations, Kimberly Freytag, on the bunny money. Okay. What other questions do we have? Anything else on the dress? Uh, wait, can we stack cards and a discount? Yes, you can, Shelby. The only thing you can't stack is your rewards points, okay? For whatever reason, they haven't made it. You can't do both. It's like one or the other, so. Um, let's see. Oh, thank you, guys. Have you changed your viewpoint on the Karma Crop Marissa Isabel asks? How would you size? Would you recommend? I know you weren't sure. Uh, you were unsure on the live with Gabs and Teresa. So here's the thing. I really wish I did have a smaller size to compare because I do love this top. I love it. I love the idea. I love the singed little situation here with the sweetheart cup. Sweetheart cut, very similar reminiscence of the Covet crop, which um, we got that idea from that one from the Crystal crop. So we have all these beautiful crops in Buff Bunny collection, and it's always one of my favorite items. I like a crop that I can wear for lifestyle and to work out. I love the way they designed this backside here, it's beautiful. Um, my thoughts haven't really changed for me personally. I know I'm not gonna grab this one to wear a lot because I don't think it looks good on me. I don't think it looks flattering on my chest and I also can't really wear it to work out because I am truly just dangling around in there. If you saw the workout footage, I was I specifically did rows so that you could see like my little girls just like ready to like come on out and say hello, all right? I don't really want to do that. <laughs> and so for that reason, will I wear this? Yeah, but in good faith, I wouldn't spend money on it. I wish they just decreased the width on this top a little bit more. So at this point, my thoughts have not changed, Marissa, but when I get the smaller size, if that changes the fit and the look of it, I will definitely let you know because everything is there for me to love it. It's just the fit didn't fit me perfectly. And if you think I'm being a picky girl, I try to be picky. I keep in mind the fact that all these pieces are sent to me in PR. I didn't pay for these pieces. So I think like a customer, if I'm paying my money for something, am I gonna love it? Am I gonna love everything about it? So it's not me trying to ever be negative. I try to be fully honest with my reviews of what I love and don't love. Um, because I want to help you guys out and the brand is amazing because they allow us as athletes they want us to speak our opinions and say what we like and don't like and Buff Bunny Collection has proven that they take our feedback as athletes and customers they're constantly refining their pieces which I think speaks so highly of this brand find me another brand that actually listens to their customers and their athletes the way that buff bunny collection does it's insane so much respect to the team thomas knuckles thanks for subscribing dude cool all right moving on what else do we got here uh brenna question is the tall length karma crop longer than the crystal crop length 
Brenna, that is my understanding. So I did pair, I did place the shorter version of the Karma Crop on top of the Crystal Crop today. It is a little bit longer than the Karma. Remember the lengths, the way they vocabbed the lengths are a little bit tricky. So try to not get confused today, friends. That's the other thing real quick. If you are creating a list, um, please write down what length you're getting in the Karma, in the dress, or in your contour flares, because I don't want you to get confused. The terminology definitely confused me on the Karma. This length, being the cropped length, is listed as a regular. So when I put it up against the crystal crop, let me do this so it's actually, when I put this up against the crystal crop, you have about that much extra length here. It's probably like not even a half inch. <clears throat> You've got about a half inch additional length on your crystal crop, okay? So if you go to the tall length on the Karma crop, you're gonna get an extra three inches on it. So that length to me sounds very appealing. I'm very excited about that longer length. It should hit you right at a high-waisted legging. Um, Myra 500, if you're asking my chest measurement, I'm a 34 A cup. I can certainly try on the new candy wrap bra, Lisa Marie, the candy crew bra. Uh, Angie Morales, do you like the Revolution halter crop better than the seamless halter? Look friends, I love the Revolution halter, but I honestly like the halter, the halter, the seamless better. Um, I like the way that it, I like the V cut on me because it pushes up my girls a little bit. And I also just find that the seamless fabric is more comfortable around the neck versus the Newbery. So what I would love is like the sultry and the Rev halter to come in a seamless fabric. Is that something they could do? Because I just, I really am liking seamless fabrics lately. <clears throat> Uh, El Grace, can you talk about the Lover Pink leggings? So the Lover Pink leggings I have are the Candid Cross Waist leggings, which if you watched my review, you know I struggled on these because I love cross waist leggings. I love the waistband. I think they, the way they cross over is different than Siren. It's a little different than Monarch. It's a little different than the girlfriend. The girlfriend leggings had a top seam, so those are kind of a different category. I love the waistband. They stayed in place great. Um, I love the actual leggings themselves. What I didn't like is the rise, which is the crotch gusset to the top here, is only seven inches, and that just wasn't enough for me. Butter fabric as it stands, I do tend to get pretty camely. When you decrease the rise on these for my length of a torso, the camel, did you watch my review? I felt like I was gonna get flagged and demonetized for that camel toe, all right? It was pretty aggressive, and for that reason, it made me feel very uncomfortable in these. I realized after the fact, Catherine recommends sizing up in these, so the team is sending me a larger size, and I'm interested to see how those will work out for me. Will I still have a lot of camel toe? Will they still stay in place? I'm not sure, so I can't really, the verdict for me is still out on these, but what I will tell you is to size up. Size up in Candid Cross Waist. Honestly, just do it across the board, regardless of what color you're getting. Sheerness on these, honestly wasn't, they're sheer. They are sheer. Wear them with a nude thong. You can't see your vagina through the front like you could with BBL Berry Ice. Um, it's just the fact that they're such bad camel toe. What's that? Okay, so you got, do you guys want me to put on those leggings? I'll wear the Candy Crew. Mm. Sarah Hill, could you wear a bra with a Karma Crop? I definitely think you could actually. What's that? Yes, I will 100% Discord Instagram stories the moment I get in the updated Candy Cross leggings and the <clears throat> Karma Crop, I'll let you know if that sizing worked out better for me. 
Okay, let's do a quick outfit change. I'm gonna throw up that giveaway while I walk away real quick in case you need to screenshot that. I do loads of reminders though to make sure everyone gets their screenshots sent in to me, okay? I'll be right back with a new outfit. Who's cooking? Ask who? Maria, what you cooking, girl? My top pick is the dress that Kara just had on. The bend and snap. Bend and snap. It's probably because of the name. <laughs> He's pervy like that. <laughs> They're a little wet. So she said. <laughs> I'm gonna put this hmm. up and out the top. Yeah, let's do it up the top. Um, baby, do you want to clip it for me? Yeah. Okay. All right. Jason's getting me locked in. Locked and loaded. Locked and loaded. I have on the Micro Legacy shorts. I did do a little test. I need to tell you, these are still a little wet. That's what she said. I, I washed these um, this morning and then put them in the dryer because... I gotta move this over a little bit. I know they fit like a little tight for me. Oh. Um, so I did put these in the dryer, you guys. And honestly, yeah, I don't think I would, I don't think I personally will, will say true to size in the shorts is my personal preference on the fit. Okay, I did shrink them though. I don't know how much they shrunk, but I did put them in the dryer. They're still a little extra fabric. They definitely fit me like an ultra high rise. Does mm. it need to come down a bit? It's like no. hitting my neck. Yeah, you just moved it. Oh. So away from your neck. Well, cause it was like hitting the necklace. I didn't know if that was an issue. I think it's fine. I don't know, let me know in the chat what you think. I honestly love these shorts. I am wearing a new thong underneath. These are Nubri fabric. I did show them in my review video with a bold underwear underneath. So for my girlies with tattoos, birthmarks, etc., you probably will see it through these, but I don't mind with a nude thong. Like I said, I wore these running, so I did get sweaty, but it was fine. And I'm wearing the brand new Candy Crew. I believe Lisa Marie asked me to try this on. This is in Lavender Haze. Like Kimmy asked me, I am liking the mixing and matching this launch. Oh, that mic's driving me nuts against my neck, Jay. Um, so I'm really loving the color combos you can create here. The lavender with the lover pink, absolutely stunning. The pump cover looks so cute with this outfit. All right, so extra small on the sports bra. Candy Crew, 
I also wear an extra small in candy wrap. So for me, extra small across the board for me in sports bras gets the job done. I am very consistent when it comes to my sizing for the most part. All right, now let me see where the questions are at. What's that? Bethany Ball. Bethany Ball, you are our next Bunny Money giveaway winner. $50 for Bethany, Bethany Ball. Congratulations. Please send on over an email to karacorifitlife at gmail.com and Jason will send you on over that $50 gift card. Congrats, congrats. Backside of the candy crew. It's similar to candy wrap, but it's less annoying because this part doesn't have the crisscross. So I feel like when I throw it over my head, it's actually, ugh. I didn't even notice that it wasn't crisscross correctly. I just feel like it's easier. It's easier to put on, even though you, you do birth your head through it, but because the way the straps are, it goes on very easily. It's not a deal, whereas candy wrap to me, it's, I'm always a little bit stressed out to put on the candy wrap. They also changed it where it's the tonal hardware now, so it's really just a gorgeous look. The original candy wrap's got that like gold metal on it. This does not feel tight around the neck. Um, Jenny Wang just asked, I like a high neckline. I really actually like that about the Catalina sports bra as well. I think a high neckline is beautiful. It's not bothersome to me, but I am someone that's used to wearing high necklines, whether it's a sports bra or bodysuit. So it's just, I don't know, this one's beautiful to me. The only thing about this that deters me from wearing it as frequently is the fabric rouging in the front. It's a little bit bulkier. I know some of y'all asked, like if you throw a shirt over it, can you kind of see it? And you can, you can see it through. So I guess it just depends if you plan on wearing this with like a tight shirt over it. Oh, but wait, watch this. Watch how cute this is, everyone. Wait, wait, wait. Oh shit, where'd it go? Where'd I put it? Wait, did I just lie that I can't show y'all my cute little situation? No, I got gotcha. you. Is what? Mm. How cute is this though? Um, someone asked if Karma is better for BTC, Kayla Lindbergh. Um, honestly, even my BTC girls felt like it is definitely a little wider in the chest. Uh, it does have that built-in shelf bra though, so it's still gonna be very open and very cleavagey. Even Catherine, who I would consider Catherine like BTC, she's a small, but she's got a big chest. She also feels like she can only wear that for lifestyle because she's not as supported in it. I mean, ah, I love this. This combo is just, it makes you happy, right? And I don't wear bright colors a lot, but the white desire denim, if you are not some, if you are someone that's grabbing the pops of color this launch, the blue, the pink, the lavender haze, come on, it's adorbs. I love it. This is just a staple for spring to summer. Why haven't you gotten the white jacket? Kittens are my jam, throw that in the cart. Pretty sure all sizes are still available in this. It was restocked just in time. I love that they added in the white coming into the spring summer launches. I think you're gonna find that this is something that you wear all summer round. So I just wanted to kind of show you the vibes of how this looks, how you can quickly dress up your gym outfit and be like, okay, I'm just gonna like go to lunch now casually, go get some groceries and look all cute, all right? Come on, so cute. Am I selling you on this or what? Let me know, let me know in the chat. All right, anyways. Can I compare my hydro jug with Lover Pink? Sure can. Um, Catherine Kelly. I'm like obsessed with this hydro jug, not sponsored, don't have a code. Uh, I'm obsessed with it, but I mean the colors of course are fun for spring summer, but also she's leak proof, baby. You ain't leaking. And every time I brought my freaking Stanley to the gym, 
<clears throat> Jason would knock it over and it would leak and then he'd get mad at me for it. <laughs> it was Stanley's fault. So Hydro Jug for the win, y'all. Can you throw a thread zip up on with the Candy Crew? I can, it's dirty, but I do have that on hand because I was wearing that the other night too. That's the other thing I wanted to mention to you all. Honestly, I still feel like the colors from Genesis and Boyfriend, listen, they do kind of still mix with everything. So I don't know if this is what you meant by the threads. Did you say thread zip up? Did I lose you in the chat? Sorry about my sniffles, allergies. Daria Falco. Uh, yeah, go tell Hydro Jug. They don't even like open my Instagram DMs. They're rude. Okay, thread zip up. Stop. The white thread zip up people slept on. I just, I, the, the white with the pinks and the purple, I feel like a little Kelly Kapowski. I love it. I just need scrunch socks on. Thread zip up. Gorge, right? Honestly, the threads, I didn't shit on it, but I was like, I don't know if it's worth the cost. No, I've been living in my threads. Zip up in the quarter zip crop, in the straight leg sweatpants. They can't see the details on this. On the jacket? Stand here, I'm gonna zoom in. Show them like the buttons. The buttons are awesome. Stand here. Sorry, I just had a couple little burps. <laughs> See those? And the buttons are nice too. Like this denim in general is stretchy. It's soft. Um, it's not a stiff denim. Like anyone that's tried this loves the denim. So. Yeah, you've got some great, I know there's not a lot of layering pieces in the no filter launch, but if you're someone like myself where it's still a little chilly and you need those layering pieces, don't forget to check out the Desire Denim, the thread zip ups, they're great additions um, to fill up your cart and Code Kara will get you 10% off those extra items. All right, what else do you guys need me to try on next? Do you guys want the Karma Crop on to see how that looks or the Butter Crop Top? I love black and love her pink too. That's like still brings in a little bit of my emo self to like have the black. Alexis Perez, do I like the jacquard print? The jacquard print itself, I know some people didn't love that it didn't look bossy, but look, I felt like the jacquard print works well with all the colors in this launch. I paired it with the lavender, with the blue bubbles. I, I kind of like how it's a little bit fuzzy, almost like TV static, but it works with other colors. So the actual print itself, I do really like. I don't mind that it doesn't look exactly like Black Bossy. Karma Crop. Okay. Can a BTC girl get away with getting the regular twist bra? Airy D asks. So some of my BTC friends like Teresa and Gabs both have said they can't wear it. They can wear it if they wear it under a sweatshirt. Um, a small one should be good. So yeah, I think it depends on your comfort level. I mean, I'm sitting here as a small chested girl and I'm like, damn, if I had those big titties, I would show them to the world, you know? Like I show my little titties off, but it depends on your comfort level. It's probably not going to feel very secure. Like I think your risk of like falling out of it could be quite high. Um, so Airy D, I would say if you want to get it, you could still get it. Just maybe plan to not wear it in front of the public. <laughs> I don't know, you know, it depends on your comfort. How stretchy is the denim? Girl, the denim is so stretchy. I'm sorry, I don't know if you wrote that and then I already answered it, but like there's a lot of stretch on it. What denim can you stretch like this? It's got that raw cut edge too. Yeah, I just, this is the best denim ever. We need more denim. We need more denim in BBC. <clears throat> Brittany is torn between the bone and the onyx dress. Which color should I get? Um, gosh, Brittany, so you have that pretty blonde hair 
and like a little bit of paler skin, or I don't know. Do you self tan, girl? I'm not sure. Um, honestly, you would look beautiful in either. I love the way the bone color looks on blondes. I think it's just really stunning. But if you're, if you're someone that just gravitates towards darker colors, I think you would wear the black more than go with that. But I think you'd look beautiful in bone. Thanks, baby. Oh, someone, Miss Tabitha Jones, why doesn't BB release more gym tanks? I, I feel you, girl. So a lot of people aren't comfortable wearing bras to the gym. There's a lot of days I don't. I think that's why I've been wearing, like, I've always been buying the pump covers lately because I'm, I'm the same. I don't always want to show my stomach. So I hope, you know, that is feedback a lot of us have given to the team as athletes. So hopefully moving forward, we'll start to get some options for like fuller length. I don't necessarily like it when it comes down here to my crotch, but like I'm, the meet and greet situation, like it sounds like the karma crop is something that maybe comes down to meet us in the waistband. What's that? Halter, Karma, Buttercup. Okay, we've got a lot of tops. Girl, I can try it all on. We have got time. We are like, we've got a little, what's that? Okay, we got a little, little over an hour before lunch goes live. I'm gonna be shopping the same times as you guys. So you gotta fight me for those pieces. You know what I'm saying? Like. I got, I need to get my pieces too. Um, halter bra, talk, please. Looks like it's not supportive. So I'm gonna try on Buttercup, Halter, Karma. Don't you worry, we're gonna try all these bits on. I found it to be supportive. I actually ran in the Halter sports bra. I don't have a big chest though. Um, and just a reminder, friends. If you didn't know, now you know. People tend to forget still, but plug in my athlete code today, code Kara does support me. It lets me know you appreciate all that I have done to help keep you informed, educate you, give you my honest opinions, and help you hopefully effortlessly shop this launch and just get pieces that you absolutely love and that fit. So using code Kara today supports me. It helps me stay working with this brand and I do earn a commission. So I very much appreciate it. My entire family appreciates it. Jason, Bruce Wayne and Joey Justice do too. Cause you know, they are the most expensive beings in this household, okay? Jenny Streeter, size up in the seamless leggings. So I don't think you necessarily have to. I, however, was pleased with sizing up because I had no other choice. That was the only way I was gonna get to re review them for you guys in case you weren't sure why I got a size small. Um, that's all that was available at the boutique. So I took them, I paid for them. I'm like, give them to me so I can try them out. Um, Buff Bunny, Jason Corey collab, love that. Um, but a lot of the girls, like Catherine didn't feel like you need to size up. She didn't feel like they were too compressive staying in your normal size. I will say sometimes with seamless, you can get a little more camely and you can get a little more sheerness in them. So I was very comfortable in my size small. I really like the way they fit. I do think I will like extra small a little bit more because I think they'll just snatch me in the waist just a little bit more and I'm hoping they're not too overly compressive. Uh, Lisa Hohen, no, I do not size up in the Candy Crew. I'm extra small in this. The one thing I do want to mention about the Candy Crew that I don't think I brought up in my review, this I think was meant for BTC, but like it does kind of cut in quite a bit, right? Like I feel like if you're very booby, you may see some of your boob here. It doesn't bother me, but I could see where how this line cuts down that that could bother some ladies, right? So just keep this in mind here. If you're someone that wants more coverage, needs more coverage, your twisted curve is gonna keep you covered between the armpit, the backside, and the boob. That one's gonna give you the most coverage today in my opinion. But I do like the Candy Crew, I think more than the Candy Wrap, um, because I like a high neckline, it's easier to put on for me personally. Uh, hoping the candy wraps don't sell out instantly. I don't feel like they have been selling out as quickly, especially because we have so many other new pieces this launch.
One more time, babe. Okay, our next Bunny Money winner is Rachel Cuttington. Congratulations, Rachel Cuttington. You are our next Bunny Money giveaway winner. Send that email on over to karakorifitlife at gmail.com. Jason will get you that gift card sent right over. That is $50 for the US site. Jason and I are gifting to you. That is not in collaboration with Buff Money Collection. That's just our own money. And you can stack my code with your gift cards today. Don't you worry. Don't forget to get your 10% off. My sister is still losing sleep. She forgot to use my code during the last launch. No, she used it. Excuse me. She used it. And then something happened with her cart and she like quickly checked out and like the name fell off. So she's literally still torn up about it. So I, I don't want you to be torn up. I want you to just use my code. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna do a quick change of Aruskis and then I will be back to answering questions. So, um, yeah, we're we gonna try on some different tops here. Do a different top. What's that? Shelby Pickett just asked, how do I feel stock will be? Honestly, I feel like, at least I know for my collab, they stocked a lot. So I'm hoping knowing that it's Catherine's collab, there's a good amount of stock so that things don't sell out right away. to check myself before I wreck myself with my CT. You know what I'm saying? So I threw on the Candid Cross waist leggings so that you can get a better look at them um, because it's not that they don't fit me. That's where I was like, I don't know if get, going to a size small is really gonna work for me. Um, I don't know. Swing, <laughs> swing. Uh, the waistband, incredible. Like it just stays in place really, really well. Did my Instagram live freeze? 
Oh, maybe not. Okay, sorry. Um, all right, so cotton candy outfit. Absolutely obsessed. I love this color combo together. It's just so cute. I love the bubbles blue. I am wearing the halter seamless sports bra. I know we were talking about support with it. I am someone that doesn't need a ton of support. Um, get my hair out here. You have that strap back here, okay? So you can take that and you can tighten it, which does allow you a little more support while lessening the pressure that you may feel on your neck. However, this one for me, I just don't, I don't feel it on my neck. It's not something where I'm like, ooh, I gotta get this off of me like I do with the Rev Halter, okay? So this one is just really forgiving to wear around your neck. For me, the support is good. I can wear this running. I also don't have giant titties, all right? So if you are a chestier gal, would you be able to run in this top? Probably not, but would you be okay like working out in it? Probably, but yeah, I'm good to go in it. Um, we have on the Canon Cross Waist Leggings, keep in mind, they're a little wet because I just took them out of the wash, but I have a nude thong underneath. I mean, I think maybe the camel toe was worse because unfortunately when I filmed my review, I was having my period, so had all the things going on, but nude thong. Can you see cellulite through it? Yeah, you can. Um, is it sheer? Yeah but still really pretty, so. Okay, anyways, let me move down to your questions. Ooh, my comments were like froze for a second. Let's see. And just a reminder, friends, you do not need to spam in the comment section at all in order to be chosen for gift cards. It's just random draw. Um, but if you are spamming, we probably won't choose you. Okay, Kara, can you show the karma at some point? Wondering if it's decent enough to wear as a summer top or too booby for me personally, and also wondering about sizing. Yes, I will try that one on for you next. Nella Villa Helamina. Did that, did I say that right? I'm proud of myself. Okay, does the halter dig into your neck, El Grace? No, it doesn't, not for me personally. This is my true to size. <clears throat> I have a short torso, but I need it to be above the belly button. So again, another one for me listed as high rise and you can see my little barbell, my little belly button barbell kind of sticking out. Now these leggings are meant to wedge into your butt, but here's the thing. When I do that, when I kind of cram them in there, I know I don't have the biggest booty. I don't have something like super super giant to be showing off in the gym, but when I do that is when I get more camel toe. So for that reason, I don't, yeah, I gotta get that scrunch out of there. That's part of my, that's part of my issue. So I kind of have to wear these a little bit more mid-rise because of that camel toe factor. So, oh God, yeah, let me go adjust off camera. That's just not attractive to do on camera, but unfortunately for me, that's where that little scrunch doesn't work. And I didn't have that issue as bad with the aggressive scrunch leggings that were part of Seven Deadly Sins, but yeah, I have to keep these lower on me and I cannot, I can't put that scrunch in my booty because it's just too much camel. And too much camel makes me self-conscious. I will take sheer over the camel toe. If you are worried about the camel toe, size up in these. That seems to be a general recommendation that a lot of girls prefer these sized up. So um, I think if you're nervous about that, but you want these leggings, you can try sizing up. <clears throat> um, let's see. I have always had issues with every scrunch with BB, so I think it's a personal thing whether or not you have that issue. Yeah, I agree, Sean. Okay. My workout suffers when I'm self-conscious. Amy O says, I am the same way, girl. So that's something I think is also really important for you all to think about when you're shopping today or any launch. Pastels are pretty. I absolutely love pastels. They're gorgeous, but when it comes to me 
working out in the gym, I don't want to be worried about being self-conscious in terms of someone seeing my vagina or someone seeing my camel toe. So that's one way to narrow down your list. Make sure you're choosing pieces you're actually going to wear and feel comfortable in. These leggings do come in cold brew and they come in black, I believe. So I'm wearing like that lightest color to really give you the harshest review possible, right? If I had these in cold brew, it would be a little bit of a different review because in cold brew, you really wouldn't be able to see the camel toe as well. They wouldn't be sheer. I'd probably be fine with cold brew and extra small. So <clears throat> also keep that in mind, you know, when selecting colors, if, if you really want the leggings, but maybe go with a darker color if you're good with that. Oh, Nelly. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, Nelly. You're from Finland, so pronunciation is different. I'm like really trying to fly through, so I do apologize if I'm pronouncing anyone's names incorrectly. I'm just trying to address everyone um, so you know that I am answering your question as well. I love cold brew. I know some people are like sick of browns. I'm just not. I've been loving browns and neutrals for a while. It's a TV show. I'm thirsty, I'm losing my voice talking so much. Okay. <laughs> Cynthia's sick of the cold brew. Okay. <clears throat> Did I see the cup pads in Afterglow Yellow? No, actually in the twist bra, you can't see the cup pads. Oh, let's see. Um, so for right now, the the cut pads. Here's what I did. I just, I don't know why I did not like how these looked slid in there. Like there was something weird about them showing, but I'm also, you know, nipples to the wind all the time. So sometimes what I like to do is just like pull my cut pads out, but then I slide them in there like this. I mean, you have to get them just ever so perfect. So they're not showing, which I kind of frig that up, pulling it back out with the wire there, but it's just one trick you can do too if your team no cut pads. I usually do need to have the cut pads in. Okay, let's see. Questions. We love a good neutral and we love a good bright. I totally agree, Mara. <clears throat> I've just discovered I look the most flattering in browns, Tara said. Yeah, I feel the same way for the longest time I avoided browns when they first came out with Buff Bunny and then I started dabbling in them more and then when Naked came out, I was fully in there and I haven't come back out. I really love all the creamy neutral tones and browns in general. Journey, brown, Journey Dark Brown and Cold Brew. Uh, do I think the seamless legging will be see-through in the black and the cold brew color? From everything I've seen, I don't feel like they will be when you're standing here. It's when you go to squat that I think you will see sheerness in the glutes, but they are better than the lighter colors of BBL we got in Genesis um, or boyfriend, whichever. Um, in that when you're just standing here, there's nothing sheer. It's more so when you go into that squat position, that seamless fabric, the way it kind of breaks apart or kind of, I guess, just stretches, I should say you do get a little bit of sheerness. Uh, Sarah Hill, sorry to be a broken record, but can you talk about sizing for the micro legacy shorts? Um, no problem, Sarah, we're all here to help. So I did just have on the micro legacy shorts and honestly, I said I prefer my normal extra small in them. I actually, <laughs> We're all girls here, right? I bled through these and I, they still came out. Thankfully, I washed those out. I liked my true extra small in the shorts. Shorts have less fabric to them. So for me, with shorts, oftentimes I can size up. So for me, sizing down in these, I just think they would be too tight. I'd rather my shorts have a little less compression in the thighs, especially being a six inch, where six inch hits me in the thighs. 
they can get kind of they can get kind of tight so i actually prefer the micro legacy six inch shorts over the regular legacy six inch shorts um so what was i saying there i find them true to size they do feel more like an ultra high rise they kind of hit me right about here compared to candid cross waist um i like them true to size some girls want to size down in them I didn't mind having just like a little extra fabric in these. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Don't want to be hacking over the mic. Did the shorts give camel toe? Sorry if you already said. Great question. No, I don't think I did say. I didn't find I really got camel toe in the shorts. Um, Newbury isn't as bad for me. I don't really get bad camel toe in Newbury, maybe on occasion, but the most camel toe I got was in these suckers. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry for that. Um, what do I think will sell out today? So that's You never say it the name when I'm not talking. Say it again, Jack. Our next bunny money winner is Ariel, shoot, Ariel Ram, Ram K. Ariel Ram K, congratulations. You are next a bunny money winner. You've just won a $50 gift card courtesy of the Corys. So thank you so much for being here. Send on over that email to carolcoryfitlife at gmail.com and Jason will send you on over that gift card. I'm gonna do a quick switcheroo into the Karma Crop because I've seen we just have so many questions on it. So let me throw that on just so you can see it. Uh, Jenny Wang, I did get the yellow, the afterglow yellow in the twist sports bra. I had that on in the very beginning. Alrighty then, the long-awaited karma crop is here and I need you to let me know in the comments. Like, give me your honest opinion on how you think this crop looks on me. Like, was I being too picky or do you agree with me? It's kind of just like too wide on my chest. Let, let a hoe know while I mic up. And friends, if you're enjoying the multiple outfit changes I have been doing, don't forget Code Kara today does support me if you shop the launch. And it gets you 10% off and it enters you into my $1,000 giveaway for the month of April. And you're gonna wanna be entered into that giveaway because I think we have some good launches coming up. Just saying. But yeah, Karma Crop, extra small, regular length, which is the crop length. It's confusing, but it, okay. Here's the back side. I don't know. There's just a lot of room for me up here. Can you guys see this with my dark hair? There's just like a lot of extra stretch. I, I honestly thought this was butter fabric, but it's Newbury again, it's Newbury fabric, but I have a lot of room back there. The backside is beautiful though. I love the straps. I much prefer the backside um, straps more than the covet or the crystal crop. But the front side. Wow. 
Let's see if we can have an hip slip. Not trying to, but just it's close. It's very close, friends. Too low for me. You can... What? What's that, Jay? Oh, okay. Sarah Booth, this is the regular length, so the tall length is gonna be three more inches. And while I'm measuring this, if you don't mind, friends, throw into the chat box what titty committee you are on. If you're IBTC, itty bitty titty committee, are you M? TC, medium titty committee, or are you big titty committee, BTC? Let me know down in the chat. Okay, so an extra three inches sits right here. It hits right at the waistband of the candid cross leggings, okay? So that tall length, regular and tall, this is regular, tall gets you an extra three inches. It's gonna hit right at your leggings, which I think is a really nice length. I, I hope we get more versions of tops like that. I just wish, I wish it did this. I wish it came in more like this. I don't know. I just, I, I love like being a smaller chested girl too. I don't normally not wear a top due to it being too openy and chesty, but it go, I think it's because of how far down it goes. I think I could get over it being wide if it wasn't so far down. <clears throat> we got a mix of titty committees here. Love to see it. So just remember like, I'm trying to answer questions, but help out your fellow titty committees, all right? So any of my MTC or BTC girls, like help, let's help each other out. Like I said at the beginning of this, this is not Kara Corey's live launch party. This is your live launch party. So let's all help each other out. Erica Velezquez, thank you for subscribing. Like just bring this up a teat. Oh yeah, that would have been a sleigh. I just need it up more, but maybe, maybe that would have been too close to the covet and that's what they're trying to avoid. I just saw in the chat, someone wanted to know um, how it compared to the Ivy crop, L Grace. So I did throw this on Instagram stories as well. I know I was a little bit late to this comparison, but it's pretty similar in terms of length. I, I know I'm just kind of holding it against, sorry, I'm covering up the mic, but I'm just gonna hold it against me. And you can see that the length of this is pretty similar. I would agree with that. Definitely maybe have, like it does depend on your boob size because I have little tiny boobs that are just right here. If you have wider, bigger boobs that maybe take up more surface area, this may be the crop for you. And let me remind you of that. Just because something doesn't fit me well or <clears throat> doesn't flatter me the most doesn't mean it's a bad piece and it doesn't mean it won't work for you. I'm not trying to ever discourage you or encourage you to only get what I like. That's not what this is about. It's about finding what pieces are going to work best for your body type. I am thinking possibly going to that extra, extra small. That was my thought. Going a size down would maybe give me a little bit more tightness in this shelf bra on here. I have plenty of room in this shelf bra. It is not like too tight on me. So I'm thinking the extra, extra small might be a win. I'm really hoping it works. Uh, Abby Space does bone color discolor. Um, honestly, for the bone pieces I have, they're pretty, like, they stay pretty fresh and looking like bone. All of my buff bunny, for the most part, unless I'm trying to shrink something, um, or my cloud pieces, I do like to dry those. I always do a cold wash and air dry, and I feel like that does help maintain the integrity of the piece and the color. <clears throat> Oh, hydrogen? Yeah, everyone's still talking about this. <laughs> Loves it. I, I don't think, I think I got that one, like, I think I was lucky. I think it's sold out now. 
Sapphire, I agree. Sizing was really hard this launch. Um, just being able to speak confidently to you all about these pieces and how I think you should size. I pride myself in giving you the best accurate information, but also trying to get my re review up for you all as quickly as possible. So my review was up a little bit later this time, and that was because I really wanted to make sure I tried everything out very thoroughly and had my opinions locked down. So um, sizing is a little bit more all over the board, but that also could be because with this launch, it was important, I would say, for Catherine to offer some additional sizes and lengths. So, you know, that could be part of it. Okay, yeah, let's, um, let's throw in the buttercup bra really quick too, Ed. That's a quick change. And then, um, do you guys want me to put on the micro legacy leggings? Or are you guys liking? You like my camel toe in these? Okay. I mean, actually my camel toe, of course, doesn't, doesn't look that bad now. Just <laughs> <Okay>. <sighs> running around wild. Okay. All right, friends, the long awaited buttercup bra. This bra is in butter fabric. So remember, it's just going to feel a little lighter weight. I am trying to give myself purposely a titty moment in it, but this is more of a, like a lower support bra, even for myself. So larger chested friends, this may just feel more like a little more like a dainty bralette and maybe more of like a yoga Pilates vibe. Sorry, just adjusting everything. That's the one thing with the micro legacy leggings because they are looser on me. Um, because they are looser on me, I find myself like doing a lot of adjusting. So these to me fit, I guess they're high rise. The rise was decreased, but I don't know. I still feel like they're not too far off the nap, the normal legacy. You'll see that in my review. I did compare them to legacy we got with inner lights, slightly lower rise on them. So many of you were happy to hear that. It seems like a lot of you don't like ultra high rise anymore. Um, but there's just a lot of this, a lot of extra fabric. This is where I do feel like a sizing down for my body type would probably look a little better and I would probably fuss with it more, fuss with it less. Can I wear these? Yes, but um, the other thing with the micro legacy, they did 
kind of tighten up the stitch here. It's more of a smaller stitch with that butterfly seam. They took off the side seam, so that is another, excuse me, that's another reason why they're not as compressive. And you're hearing some people say they fit more like a Rosa because they just don't have less seams equals less compression, right? Buttercup bra. Like I said, short line bra, you've got adjustable straps. The backside is kind of similar to the Ivy wrap that we saw from the Boyfriend collection. Some of you asked me if these like bothered me or caused any issues on my backside. They don't, I've worn this all day long and it feels super duper comfortable. Oh, okay, cool. All right, sorry, took me a second. Um, we have our, our next, uh, Ali Nova. Ali Nova, uh, Buff Money Collection does not do a student discount to my knowledge. However, you are our next Bunny Money winner. So hopefully a $50 gift card will help you out, girl. That's student life, I hear you. I was broke as shit in college. <laughs> Jay and I both. Uh, so Ali Nova, congratulations. Please send on over an email to karacorifitlife at gmail.com. And Jason will send you on over that gift card. Congratulations. We are a half hour out. My belly is grumbling. I'm getting the nerves in my stomach because I need to shop just like y'all are. Um, but we have time. I'm going to literally be changing into everything this entire collection. But look at the color combo though. Lover pink, lavender haze, absolutely stunning. I feel like what may be confusing for some of you is just the athletes. We're a mixed bag of how we like the micro legacy. Some of us like them more. Some of, them, some of us like them less. Some of us go true to size. Some of us feel like they run too big. So I can see where for you all being consumers, you're like, ah, which is it? Keep in mind, everyone's different, right? So everything is accurate. Everyone has their own preferences and opinions. So you have to think about what you like and kind of listen to the feedback you're getting from us as athletes to determine if these are gonna be a good pick for you. I do really like them. I like them better than an OG Legacy. I just think I would like to try sizing down in them for that like little bit of a more snatched fit in the waist. Uh, the bra. She's real cute. I know it's not a top pick of mine, but for no other reason than not having 17 top picks, it's a great bra. It's a really pretty. I love the little rouging it does right here. I think it's really cute and simple. I love a simple short line bra I can just throw on. Um, so for that reason, I do love it. I just, I like the twisted curve and the halter seamless better. Sorry friends, between allergies and talking, my voice is like giving up on me. <clears throat> and I just don't think I have strong vocal cords. I wanna say I need to go to um, someone and figure out who I was in a past life because I'm, I'm pretty sure I was a performer or a singer. And that's why my vocal cords, they just get really tired very easily. Um, let me know if you need me to throw the t-shirt on too. We can do that as well. I'm also gonna throw on the butter crop long sleeve. Um, would you size down in the Micro Legacy shorts too or just the leggings? Uh, Katerina, no, I actually liked the shorts and how they fit me in the size extra small. I don't like, um, yes, Lisa Mata, please don't spam the chat, okay? Please don't. Um, Cause it's just making it hard for me to answer people's questions. Um, but I do like the micro legacy shorts in extra small, the leggings I would prefer sizing down. So that's just, that's just my feedback. I don't, there, I don't believe there's gonna be any early access because even as an athlete, I don't get early access. But if that happens, someone let me know. Cause I'm getting out of here. Just kidding. I mean, I'll still be here. Sorry, my lips are getting crusty busty. Okay. T-shirt. Mm, I want a full length butter long sleeve as well. Okay, let me um, throw on the T.
The t-shirt I have in a size small. This is the smallest size it comes in. It is pre-shrunk. I'm just pull the mic out quick. This pump cover is similar to any other pump cover you've maybe, if you've purchased one from Buck Bunny Collection before or not. Um, it is just a cotton tee, pre-shrunk, comes in small to triple extra large. I like to wear these a couple different ways. I like to wear them just like, boom, like oversized, cover me up. Like I don't want anyone staring at me. Or sometimes I like to just tuck the t-shirt up some girls crop it. I like to kind of tuck it up like in the back of my bra sometimes just to show off my booty. So, oh, is Heidi teasing that? Ah, okay. Dang, okay. So I guess maybe I may, I may just miss out on things then. Um, my list included more of the seamless leggings, the halter seamless bra. Okay. Um, where do I write it down? I need a pen and paper. Go get my shopping on. Okay, but yes, the t-shirt, is it worth it? I like these pump covers. The color flow in this matches everything in this collection. So to me, I, I'm just, I'm like that. I like all the pump covers and I wear them quite a bit, so. Um, but yeah, you can crop it up as well. There's a lot of different things you can do to kind of style this differently, but I just genuinely like the way the size small fits me. It's very comfortable. What's that? I got something I can use you. I also want to try on the butter crop. We have time. I'm going to try on the long sleeve butter crop. And then I'm going to also do the twisted curve and the flares. I'll let you get it. <sighs> okay. Um, so I'm going to keep answering questions, but I'm also going to give Jason a list in case there is early access. Just give me paper and I'll keep going. Ooh, did I bring that? I wanna show you guys something real quick too. If anyone purchased the boyfriend button ups from the last collection, I haven't done this yet and I have been just dying to see what the boyfriend button up shirt looked like on me. I have no idea if this is still available or not, but let's just do a Karakori styling situation. The boyfriend button up from boyfriend in the pink color, shot it. I love this together. The pink on the boyfriend button up is a little more pastel than the lover pink, but so cute. I love this together. Okay, let me give Jason his list just in case early access comes up. How about in the chat, tell me what you think I should buy. I already have all the purses. Let's not forget accessories today, friends. We have the full size game changer tote. We have not had this in a long time. And then we have the minis. I got so lucky. The team was so kind. They sent, I don't know if they did it on purpose, but they sent me both and I nearly like died because I really couldn't choose which one I wanted more. So I'm so appreciative they sent me both. I've been using the bone color more so to test out for y'all because I know Everyone really just wanted to know how easily it would get dirty and all that kind of stuff, but honestly, it hasn't been an issue. <clears throat> okay, let me try to, all right, I'm gonna talk you through my list. Um, I'm trying to be BB spoiling care, I love it. Okay, okay, I definitely wanna get the shape seamless leggings, black, and cold brew. Cold brew, extra small, black, small. I wanna get the butter crop long sleeve. 
white, extra small. Does the mini fit over your shoulders? The mini fit over my shoulder. Oh. I mean, you can do that. It's a little weird, but it does. It does work like that. Honestly, the leather holds up so good. Yeah, I used, I literally used every version of the Game Changer bag working. And it was my work bag that I put literally my glass Tupperwares of food in, in addition to, I don't know how many pounds of crap I would put in my bag. It holds up over time. <clears throat> Mmm, bend and snap dress and bone because that's Jason's favorite. Jay, should I get the shorter size in the dress? Huh? Yes, he wants me to go short. It's for science. I need to test it out for y'all. And seamless. Halter sports bra. Hmm. What color should I get in this seamless halter sports bra? <laughs> Science. <laughs> okay. I do wish the butter crop top was longer too. Hopefully we got a longer version at some point. Can you please put on the Ooh, Priscilla being five foot four, I would 100% go with the longer length in the bend and snap dress. Bailey is five foot four, and when she tried to wear the shorter version, it was way too short on her. What's that, Boo? Um, black, extra small. Do I want black or do? Yeah. Code Kara, please. 10% off. It probably is saved in Shop Shopify for me, but make sure it's, um... oh, I'll give it to you to be safe though, babe. You're gonna have to open Discord and go into the main if it's early access, or maybe they'll just tell us. You girls will let Jason know what the early access. Yeah, well, I, you could log in under me. I'm in there. Oh, I'm logged in on my laptop, but it's okay. All right, should we try on something else? The only person that dress did not look short on was Tracy, and I'm thinking she doesn't have as long as a, of a torso as I do. Okay. I love how Kara lives in the shopping anxiety with us. I do, it's like I can't, I can't decide. Athletes do not always get to shop early. I think some people, I'm just making an assumption. Maybe, so, I think someone maybe ruined it for us. I don't know. All right, let's, what do you guys want next? I wanna do the buttercrop long sleeve because I think you guys need to see why I love this top as much as I do. Plus it's an absolute slay with the lavender. So I'll be back in two seconds. Someone wants to see lavender with very ice. I need to know who has the long sleeve butter crop on your shopping list today. I'm gonna post my giveaway details again, friends. We're gonna, whoop. Flower. 
Sapphire XX. You are our next bunny money winner. Sapphire XX. This is that time of the live launch party where people start to dip out. So if you are still here, Sapphire, send us on over an email at karakorifitlife at gmail.com to retrieve your $50 gift card, Bunny Money, courtesy of Jason, Corey, and I. And we'll get you sent that right over. Also, don't forget you can use gift cards today. If you won one, you can stack it with code Kara, get yourself 10% off. You can still be entered into my giveaway for $1,000. Discord's losing their mind. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right, friends. Well, we're still here and I'm still doing giveaways. So lose your mind, but also open up your buffbunny.com backslash Kara. Do that link right now. Do that link, okay? That way you can be entered into my giveaway. How gorgeous is this top with the lavender haze? Leggings. Someone wanted to see what berry ice looks like near lavender haze. This is the seamless sports bra from last time, but just so you know, berry ice and mocha berry, like I still feel like chai latte. Those are colors you can still pull, pull into some of these pieces from this launch. Is this top breathable? Honestly, I find butter. It looks like it wouldn't be breathable, but even though it's a fitted top, I still find that there's a lightness to it. There's a comfort to it, where while I don't normally work out in a long sleeve top, um, it is breathable to me. Butter does have that property of it. It's not necessarily sweat wicking, but I don't know. It's just very comfortable and you definitely could wear this to work out. <clears throat> Would it be too hot to be in? Um, honestly, like if it was super hot out, I maybe wouldn't want to have my armpits like all covered up like this because there is a shelf bra on the inside. So I could see this getting pretty hot. Um, Ash Leah over on Instagram. I do find this top true to size though. You could certainly size up. It, it does fit in the arms, but we have a lot of stretch here. So it will stretch out. But if you want it to be just like a little roomier, a little cozier, you'll maybe get like just a T of extra length in it. But you can see where it hits me with the legacy leggings. Keep in mind the micro legacy are a shorter rise. So it's a crop, but with like a high rise legging, you're still not showing too much of your stomach. So. Do I prefer the liner or double lines? Um, I really, I do like the built-in shelf bra, if that's what you mean. Like I kind of prefer a built-in shelf bra compared to just the liner. Come on, come on bunny money. Mama needs a new bag. That's so cute. For sure though, in the, it's cold out here. It could, this would definitely not be like a summer top for me. Um, but I'm chronically cold in my house, so I will still be wearing this for sure. <clears throat> Is it sweat proof? Absolutely not. No, there isn't really anything sweat proof ever in Buff Bunny collection. Your most sweat wicking pieces in this launch are gonna be your bend and snap dress that's in perform fabric. This is the most, this is like the best performance fabric. I hope we get more of this in leggings and sports bras, etc. And then your seamless set, that's gonna be the most sweat wicking. Um, the shelf bra, you can remove the cut pads in this, yes, Bridget. So if you don't like the cut pads in here, you can take them out. Like I mentioned, the white one has like tan cut pads in there. So those gotta, those are probably gonna have to be swapped out. Um, tips for securing the goods other than code Kara. You're definitely gonna wanna like get your must have pieces first and foremost. A lot of girls place multiple orders and effort to make sure like their must have pieces they secure right away. So I know that's like, could be a shipping issue, but 
Um, also, if you already have an account set up with Buff Bunny, like for me, the second I go to place an order, all my Shopify info, even my credit card info, it just pulls right in there. So I can always check out super quickly. So I highly recommend doing that. Yes, the square neckline on this is gorgeous. I can also give the girls like a little lift with it. I like that I don't look flat chested when I wear it. Um, what else? Yes, the dress is a perfect theme park dress. So if you have any trips planned to Disney or Universal Studios or going to the state fair, whatever it may be, a dress like that makes you look cute, put together, yet you sweat wicking because of the fabric, number one, um, but also you have the safety net of having the shorts underneath it. So do not forget today, code Kara, we still have, unless they do early access, we've got about nine minutes before launch goes live. Would greatly appreciate it if you appreciate what I do here on YouTube, on Instagram, managing my Discord. I would say I'm a one man show, but honestly, Jason Corey does like, it's a 50-50. He does so much to help out. Um, and it's just really nice to be able to do this with him. So if you guys enjoy and appreciate what Jason and I do using code Kara today, make sure you screenshot it. I'll put the giveaway details up there if you're not familiar with how I run things. Just take a screenshot of your order, showing that you use my code, or if you use my link, make sure you send your order number over and you can DM that to me on Instagram. Sometimes I take a bit to get back to you, but I promise I will, or you can send that to me via email. Early access is going. Is everyone going to shop right now? Uh, Mia Pellerite, huh? I'm gonna have to look on Discord. They're not allowed to say it, they'll get in trouble. If someone can tell. I don't know, can someone say what the early access code is? Are they gonna have the Wildest Dream shorts? Oh yeah, the Wildest Dream set. Like, no one got it in PR. Um, Instagram Live, I'm gonna close out of you because, whoop. Did I close out of it? I think I did. Oh, no code yet. Oh, I thought you guys were saying there was early access. Oh wait. Okay. All right, friends, sir. Okay. We are seven minutes, seven minutes. Oh, everyone's shot is everyone shopping? What do y'all need from me? Let me answer your questions. We're all good. Jason's doing my shopping. We are gonna do one more giveaway winner. So friends, if you are shopping, I love that for you. Code Kara today, please, it helps support. But also come on back in here. We're gonna pick one more winner. One more $50 winner for those that stick around. Don't forget, if you are looking for a little accessory, these purses, I see those selling out. I definitely could see those selling out today. They are an amazing staple to have and the mini stuff just goes real quick, right? We saw that with the little mini um, book bags that we got in my collection, so. I think I tried on literally almost everything with the exception of the jacquard set, the contour flares, and the candy wrap sports bra, but overall, <clears throat> I hope y'all find that I gave you guys some good information. Excuse me <clears throat> while I clear my throat here. Would you do the dress or the long sleeve butter? Ooh, that's tough because they're two different pieces. I love them both, but like the dress is just honestly so special. I would say the dress. Ashley, I, it, even if you're not shopping today, it honestly makes me feel so good that you still, and you still came and wanted to be here and enjoy the live launch party. It means a lot. I love it when people still watch my reviews and still come here and engage. 
What'd you say, boo? All right, we are gonna do one last giveaway. Yes, we are, Stare for those still here. We are gonna do one random giveaway winner and I'm looking away and just randomly picking. My winner is Illa Green. Illa Green, or La Green. You are our last Bunny Money giveaway winner. I think it's Illa Green. Congratulations, please send on over an email to karakorifitlife at gmail.com. Jason's master of multitasking, he's managing things. Yes, thanks babe. Should I do that in black or what colors does it come in? Too late, got it in black. <laughs> okay. All right, friends, so people are shopping. The dress in boner black. Whew, that's tough. I mean, black to me is like my go-to. So I'm just gonna say black, to be honest with you. Brittany, Jason's currently securing the goods for me. I'm gonna probably do another Instagram post. Honestly, I loved the photos that Jason took of me this time. I, th I mean, I love the collection, so that's a big part of it. Um, but just, let me do a couple posts. If you guys still have questions, throw them in the chat or let a hoe know what you're buying today. I love to see it. Love to see it. Got everything I wanted. If I had money, I'd get the purse. I got the seamless halter in yellow, aggressive scrunch, and curve short. <laughs> I heard the dress. I heard the dress in boner black. Boner black, I like that. I heard boner black too. Did I say boner? Bone or black. Yeah, I could see where I said boner. Boner. How many more times can I say that? <clears throat> My enunciation is not good at this part of the day. I do apologize. Oh wait, I'm gonna do um, a couple stories. So if Jason can take over for a second, cool. If not, buffbunny.com. I'm gonna put up a really cute photo too. I saved my favorite photo for today. So I'm gonna post that right now. I would love it if you go like it. Just let me post it first. Um, do, do, do. I'm doing my usual reminders over on Instagram too for using my code, which is hard. People already getting everything they wanted. Allie cool. Joslyn, everything she wanted. Brand their salmon, everything she wanted. Oh, okay. We are live. Who joined me? JJ? Baby J. Okay. Oh. Let's pick up another Covet crop. It was a Catherine Kara collab, collab shopping trip. Oh, I love that, Keely. I forgot to ask. True to size for the butter crop, Carla. Yes, I find it true to size. It's got. You what? Cool. All gift cards have been given out at this point. I find it true to size, it is a fitted top. Um, you could size up if you want a little more room, but I don't I don't think you need to. Uh, Victoria, what size flares would you suggest for being 5'4"? Yeah, I said all gift cards have been given out. Yeah, Victoria, what size flares would you suggest for being 5'4"? That's really green, I just Yeah, you're throwing me off here. Um, I would say if you're 5'4", I would go with a regular, but it honestly depends on your inseam because sometimes you could have um, longer legs, shorter legs. I'm gonna do my Instagram post, so. My favorite one. They can't tell them. They gotta go look at it. All right, do you want the mic or no? Are you leaving?
Did you answer what size flares would you suggest for being five foot forward, Kara? Yeah, okay. I forgot to ask if TTS for buttercrop. True to size, babe, buttercrop? Yeah. Yep, it's true to size. Michelle P got flares in black, dress and bone, tote in black. Brie Powers, she forgot her karma crop, so she got to go in for a second order. Code Kara. Code So when Kara posts this, you all got to go over on her Instagram and give her picture a like. Which one is it? Oh, okay. I know the wide thinking. angle one. Yep, the wide I angle. Love it. She always likes her wide angle pics. No, we're not getting sushi today. Um, we haven't done that. In a we haven't done that in a while. I just, I just have. I haven't been in the mood for sushi. Uh, Ever since like COVID, I don't know why. I just haven't been in the mood for, for sushi. And, I mean, we've gotten it a couple times, but since then, but um, we're getting UFC 300, so it's gonna be a long night for us. And we were up early. I was up earlier than you, Ben. I just gave you some grace and laid in bed for an extra yeah, half it hour. Close. It was like 5:58. I was up at like 4:50. 4:50. Like nice <laughs> I was up. Come here, Bruce. Yeah, come here. Come on, Dixie. Plumbers. Oh, I thought it was everybody's tails wiggling. Everybody's tails wiggling. Come here, guys. Come here, guys. What you want, Bruce? Huh? Look at them in the camera. All you see is a tail. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. Hey, buddies. Hey, dude. Oops. Now you guys see Bruce Wayne. In here. <laughs> He's wiggle. He is a ha Justice is the happiest dog like literally I've ever met in my life. So so Alright, where are we at? Brittany Kish saved $31 using code Kara on her first order. Nice. Thank you, Brittany. Her first order ever? I believe so. When he lays his like forearms across the back of your calf and just like stomps on it, it hurts. JJ forgets how big he is and it hurts because he'll just like plop on you with his like bony elbows. Uh, Kara got everything she wanted, thanks to me. Shopping for her. Unless you get like an email saying, sorry. Um, Loki is watching, thank you, Corey. I got, I was able to get in and get everything. Airy D saved $28, thank you. Oh, Brittany Kish, no, first order for today. I, I was like, her name sounded like, I've seen her name before, right. so I was like, oh, she just never ordered she's before. She's just like, I'm gonna place multiple orders today, that's what she'd say. Gotcha. Tara Creel said, oh my God, Kara, that photo is so cute. Oh, I'm glad you like it. I love the wide angle pics like that. Well, Kaylee Lee said, Kara, thank you for using code Kara, much appreciated. So Kara got shape seamless leggings, black and small, cold brew extra small, buttercup, lo buttercup long sleeve, white extra small, bend and snap dress bone, uh, short extra small, halter seamless sports bra, black extra small. That's what she got. And she saved like $31 using code Kara. Can you enter your own giveaway? I don't know, would that be bad? Would that be a conflict of interest? 
Cassandra Downs, my great dad, has no idea how big she is. The bruises. See, Bruce, though, understands how big he is. Justice just doesn't. Okay, I'm taking a picture now, folks. I can't move. She's taking a picture. Can I move my mouth? Yeah. Okay, I can move my mouth. Just not my body. JJ is not only laying up. Mayra C. Code care use. Thank you. I hope I said your name right, but I'm horrible with names. Is there any UFC fans in here? Are we getting UFC 300 tonight? Just out of curiosity. It doesn't change your chance of winning. Why is his butt wiggling? He's laying, like, literally on you with his toy. That's cuter in the video. With a toy in his mouth. On you. And look at the paw around my leg. You show, show these guys. Hold on a second. He moved, let me, but let me turn and give the giveaway. I sound like a 14-year-old boy going through puberty now. So JJ, hide your like, face. hide my face and my face. So yeah, okay. You do it. I'll play the video. <laughs> oh, play the video. So basically, JJ is wrapped around me. <laughs> he was. UFC 300! Yeah, UFC 300. I don't have much of a voice left. You don't need much of a voice. Okay, I was like, I love y'all. I hope we don't have too many more questions. My voice is just can't keep up. I'm trying to see JJ's pickle. Does that mean pickle mean tail or pickle mean wiener? See, I thought the same thing. <laughs> I'm like, she talking about his wiener? That's confusing. She means this tail. Oh yeah, there's scrunchies too. I forgot to mention those, the butter scrunchies. Uh, Chelsea F, should I get my normal extra small short for micro? Chelsea, I liked the micro shorts and my normal extra small. It's not to say that like there isn't a little room in them, but I prefer my shorts not as compressive. If you want them to have like a little less room in them you could size down time to relax everybody can breathe now hopefully they oh, sold no, out of the karma crop she did say his wiener oh okay what a perv. <laughs> no she said this tail. <laughs> okay Anything else sell out? Do we still get Intercare? Yes. Do we still get to enter Care's giveaway if we use your link? Absolutely. Just include your confirmation number, like your order confirmation number, when you send me your screenshot. I have 4,500 steps to get still. I have all the steps to get still. I gotta do cardio later after I eat and I'm gonna go rest. I'm gonna go cook you some food right now. Okay. I'm gonna go make her a meal when she finishes this up with We're you. We're gonna wrap this up shortly because I'm, I'm fade. I fade with these launch parties in the best way ever, but like I'm always zapped. It's crazy how much like talking. I'm, I, I sound like a complainer. I'm not trying to complain. Um, I think also a little bit of the adrenaline too, you know? Like you get a little bit of adre adrenaline dump. Do you guys get that too? <clears throat> Yeah, go for it. Send your emails over if you did shop or use my code. What's this? Um. Mm, okay. Pink buttercup is almost gone. Okay. I guess I could be, I could screen share it, but thank you, Kayla. Sugar Rush flashbacks. Why did everything sell out? Sugar Rush, everything sold out real fast. Okay. Cute, cute, cute. Did anybody get the um, accessories? Did anyone grab a bag? Just looking at the website to see what's in stock, what's not in stock. Mm, okay. No, candy wraps are still there, which is good. 
Hey, buddy. I should get some Micro Legacy 6 inch shorts in black. I forgot about that. Micro Legacy leggings are, they're going. People love their legacy. The teal's almost gone. Oh, was teal the most popular color? Okay. Buttercup, cross candid. I think the colors make a difference. Like I feel like cold brew is not gonna sell out as quickly because everyone really wants those bright pops of color. The Wildest Dream set, it's like I wanna buy it to try it out, but I also, I just can't tell from this picture if I would love it or not. Don't forget those Desire Denim jackets are still in stock too. Oh, Lexi got her mini tote and bone. I, I agree, Tara. I feel like the t-shirts normally fly too. So I wonder, they could very well have increased their inventory of them this time too. Oops. Where's the Twisted Curve? How's that one selling? I was wondering if that one would be like a sellout. I bet you they did a good inventory this time, honestly, because I, at least I can speak from my collab experience. I know they, that was probably like the highest stocked inventory launch out of 2023, because they really wanted to make sure like there was enough pieces available. Um, the Afterglow Candy Crew is gone. The teal is my favorite from the launch. I agree, it's so pretty. Should I go back and get that yellow bra if it's still there? Do not size up in the Desire Denim jacket. It's really stretchy. A lot of girls, if they don't go true to size, they actually like sizing down because of how stretchy it is. Um, this is extra small and I could, I could size down in the Desire Denim if I, if I wanted to. <clears throat> yes. So don't forget those Desire Denim jackets. Just, it's a stunning piece. Come on. Obsessed. And it's lightweight enough that you can wear it in the summer months too. My hair just got stuck on my lip gloss. Okay. Yeah, the colors are insanely popular and I, I feel this collaboration was much deserved. Catherine's been with the brand for a long time. Um, she has great reviews. Um, and so I was really excited for her collection. I, overall, just honestly a great collection. I think it really spoke to a lot of people. A lot of people were ready for color, um, got a great activewear dress, you know, a really great selection. The tea is almost sold out on the Canadian site. That's right. I always forget to like mention that. Hopefully everything was available on the Canadian site though, Megan. I don't know if you can confirm, but last I knew everything was supposed to be available on both websites.
just showing some love in the athlete discord to Catherine, just congratulating her. All right, thank you again, Lexi, for throwing that up there with the giveaway details. Ben and Snap sold out in black regular. Not surprised, not surprised. That I thought was gonna be a favorite. Glad you got everything you wanted, Joanna. Okay, Denise, okay, yeah, stock sometimes I feel like, unfortunately, you guys don't get as much stock. Thank you for being here, Valerie, you're so welcome. Hope that bunny money goes to good use for you. Jacquard legging, full in stock, surprising considering the other options. I just don't think, I honestly, it's hard because as much as I wanna look at everyone else's reviews of pieces, I try to get a good amount of other people's feedback so that when I do these lives, I can speak to it. Bye, Sapphire. Um, but I also, at the same time, try not to watch too many people's reviews to then influence my opinions, if that makes sense. But anyways, my point was, Tara, I wonder, did other people love, did anyone rave about the Jacquard leggings this time? Again, not crapping on it, but I just feel like I didn't hear a ton of people hyping them up. I do hope we get more Afterglow Yellow. I'm not sure if that's in the works or not, but I do hope we get more. It went to the mini bag, very good use then. Good choice. Yeah, I didn't I didn't really hear anyone raving about it. I actually like it wasn't like I've told you guys, we only get to request a certain number of pieces. Um, and that one wasn't on my list to request, but then part of me felt bad because I'm like, well, someone needs to review the Jacquard set. So I had told them if no one really requested Jacquard, feel free to send it to me. I'm happy to review because I usually really love Jacquard. And then unfortunately, I didn't, I didn't love it this time, so. I, I hope, Brianna, we do continue to see more longer length crops like the Karma. Hopefully stuff like that keeps being restocked or at least being offered. I think they're hearing it even from athletes now that we want some longer, longer line options. We don't necessarily want a flowy tank top every launch like we once had, but we want some longer line options for the girls that either don't always wanna show their stomach or consideration for taller girls like Catherine, where if she wears what's supposed to be like a short crop, it ends up being short line on her because everyone's got a different length. Yes, Catherine hinted at a longer line butter long sleeve, so. Code Kara saved you 40 bucks, that's awesome. Thank you so much for using my code today. Very much appreciate it. Yeah, be some compressive BBC tanks. So I said in my review, and I don't know, I mean, things are planned out so far in advance, but that twisted curve bra, I would love that to just draw down, like make it into a longer line top. I think that would be beautiful. I'm with you, Tara. I honestly haven't just been wearing sports bras to the gym whatsoever. I don't know if it's just like not being comfortable in my body lately or the weather has been like funky every almost every day. We've had maybe one or two nice days, but other than that, like today it's storming, it's gloomy. And when it's gloomy like this, I'm just not feeling hyped up to wear a sports bra. I don't know, does that make sense? Like this time of year is so gross. I just kind of want to cover up. And then when it's nice out, I might be more back into my sports bra era. Any last minute questions before I sign off here, ladies? I agree, we need twisted bra and more colors. Oh, thank you so much. I do love the combination. Got the black long sleeve butter crop, the denim jacket, lavender haze. I don't know, I don't, I'm someone else. It's, I'm not, I don't know Taylor Swift songs. I'm trying to, 
I was trying to like do the little song association with the pieces, but I'm just not, I don't know all the names. She's got good jams and great vocals. I just don't follow it closely like that. Oh, that's interesting to know too, Tara. I honestly, I'm just more of a leggings girl, even in like, surprisingly, we get humid summers here in New York. Um, I'm just a leggings girl. Like I'll always grab leggings over shorts. I don't know. Thank you, Chelsea. Yeah, yeah, PA is probably similar to New York. Just kind of like, it's that time of year. It's spring, it's gross, it's raining. Hey, I'm, I am that person now saying at least it's not snowing out, but I'm ready for some sunshine in my life. I need it. <laughs> I, I do, I check afterwards. Like, did I need to panic on these pieces? And also, if it's still in stock, do I need to get it? Right? I was trying to see what, I feel like the purple haze, that was a color I thought for sure would sell out. And some stuff, lover pink. People still wanted lover pink. They're like, I don't care if it's sheer, I want lover pink. The amount of people that grabbed the candid cross waist leggings in lover pink. They did that. They did the damn thing. Oh, I'm getting hot now in this. Thank you, Ali. We definitely will. I love UFC. Jason, I, I don't know what he said about UFC earlier, but we've literally been watching since well before UFC 100 came out. So big, big fans. Pretty much Chelsea's whole order is gone. Okay, you did good, girl. Good thing you got in there and got it. How's the sizing of the shaped seamless leggings? Uh, pretty much true to size. You could size up if you want a little less compression, a little less risk for camel toe, but overall true to size. Just keep zhuzhing the hair. All right, friends, I am gonna sign off here because man made me a big old hearty lunch. Well, you gotta share what you made me for lunch now because they're gonna wanna know. Well, they're gonna see fruit wool. Fruit wool. We got it in there. Strawberries, pineapple, and blueberries. Fruit bowl. All right, can you see it? I don't want to, I don't want to drop fruit in Bruce's head. I know. Take it. Oh, okay. And you got this. Did you cut my fruit with the onion knife? I cut everything with the onion knife. Yeah. <laughs> Tastes like onions. Tastes like fruit and take, onions, take but it's fine. This and it'll, it'll, it'll fix it. No, it's going to screw so, with me. So this is turkey burger. I'll do it after. Garlic, onion. Asparagus and peppers. Did you show him? He makes me my colorful, healthy meals. JJ's got something he needs to show you guys before we log off. Come here. <laughs> he brought in his two foot long rope. It's more than two feet. <laughs> Whoop! Watch your brother. <laughs> All right, guys, I just got smacked in the ass. Ah! Okay, sorry, that was probably very loud on YouTube. Officially losing my voice, but thank you all so much for being here, helping out with the live launch party and just being part of it with me. These are my favorite things on earth to do. I literally will not make any other plans. I, literally, I will not make any other plans if this is happening. This is so much fun. I love them so much. I appreciate you all. Code Kara, if you're grabbing any other orders, don't forget to send on over those screenshots. Giveaway details are everywhere. Any further questions, hit me up. I'm gonna sign out for today, friends. Love you all. The Corys, Bruce Wayne, Joey Justice, Jason Corey. <laughs> Signing off like we're on a Jason Corey YouTube video. That's it, friends. Have a great day.